Year's Eve. It's friends, parties, and fun. How could it get any better? Have Brack. That's me. And Carl. Whoa, whoa, what is that thing? Host Adult Swim's New Year's Eve Bash. Ring in 2003 with four hours of Sea Lab 2021. Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. The Brack Show. And Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Brack, we'll be reporting from Party Central. Times Square. Well, Carl's going to get himself some midnight sugar. Oh, boy. Don't miss Adult Swim's New Year's Eve Bash. Next on Cartoon Network. Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. All kids out of the pool. It's late. And it's time for Adult Swim's New Year's Eve Bash. Now, here are your hosts. Carl and Brack. Hey, I'm uh, Carl. And I'm Brack. And, and this, this is, is a Go Swim New Year's Day Bash. You a weird man. For the next four hours, we're going to be showing you shows and hanging in the biggest party in the world. Let me hear you, Times Square. Yeah. Times Square. Square. Raise, Raise the roof. Wow, four hours together. Just think of all the fun we'll have. <laughs> ah, not to mention the precious memories we'll hold dear to our hearts forevermore of the times we thought of the fun we were going to have tonight. Amen. Anyone else at all, Chili? It's freaking freezing out here. For the final award of the evening, the best young Flemaker of the year. And the nominees are... The Sea Monster, Davy Bouton, producer. Ah! <laughs> Titanic 2, Sheila and Billy Jones, producers. The ship is sinking. We've hit an iceberg. But the ship can't sink. It will never sink. It's insinkable. It's called the Titanic. There's fish all over the place now coming in because we're really sinking a lot now. We can't sink. We sunk. I love you. I love you. And finally, Fat Her. Brendan, Melissa, and Jason Perdukis. You had an affair? Look, I... I, and now I, she's trying to kill us? How could you? I'm sorry. Who is she? Just some woman. Is it because I'm fat? No. In fact, she's fat too. Well, where is she now? I don't know. But we're safe here, in the country. She'll never find us. Found you. Ah! She found us. You said she would never find us. But that's not her. And the award goes to... How do you get these open? <laughs> oh, here it is, Fat Her! Brendan Johnson and Khaleesi Perdukis. Congratulations. Uh, would you like to say a few words? Keep it tight. I'd, I'd, I'd like, like to thank the really people like who made it. I know. Okay, I well, thank you very you. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Much. I don't thank know what else. Thank you very much. So thank, thank you. you. Good night. Stop. Stop it. Sit down. Thank you. All right, uh, so I'll keep it for the first day. Melissa uh, keeps mm -hmm. it for the second day, and Jason will keep it for the third day, and we'll keep doing it like that for the rest of our lives. Okay. What if um, one of us gets hit by a car and then it gets mangled? And then you miss your day. Mm. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, Hi, I'm Dixie Smithley from Channel One News, and I wanted to congratulate you kids on your award. Oh. I'd love to do a piece on you three kids. You mean, um, beat us up? No, no, of course not. No, Jason, no. She means she wants to do a story on us, right? Yeah, right. I think it's fascinating what you kids are doing, and I think it'll make a great story. We'll do some interviews, follow you around with the camera, you know, see what it's like to be young, award-winning filmmakers. What do you say? Could you repeat that? There you are. Oh, hey, mm -hmm. whoa, Mom. Oh, Brendan, I am so proud of you. Congratulations. Are you his mother? His girlfriend. She's kidding. We broke up. I'm, I'm his mom, Paula Small. I'm Dixie Smithley from Channel One News. Nice to meet you. Oh, hey, I am so proud of you kids, too. Congratulations. Brendan, your mom's all over me. Congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Small. You have really bad breath. <laughs> well, I think this is going to be a fun interview. 
That wasn't the interview. <laughs> You see, Mr. McGurk, the problem is you scored extremely low on certain parts of your evaluation. No. And the part we're most concerned <clears throat> with today is the one dealing with your anger. In fact, I understand that you ripped up that <clears throat> section of the evaluation and threw it into the reviewer's face. In accordance with school policy, it will be necessary for you to attend anger management therapy. If you refuse, you'll be terminated. Am I clear? Mm-hmm. It's all up to you, Mr. McGurk. Yeah. Are you willing to attend these anger management well, sessions? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, Damn! Coffee, anybody? Because I've I'm, I'm, I'm got a fresh pot brewing. Just a show of hands if you would like coffee. Okay, four cups of coffee. Cream, just a show of hands. No, put your hand down and then show it again. Dad. Okay, okay, everybody ready now? Let's just chat, okay? Let me ask you, Melissa, you started performing when you were... Uh, how old? How old were you? Well, I... Yeah, I'm out of coffee. Do you, st do you still want the cream? Dad, forget the coffee. Come in here. Just a little thing of sugar? Dad, just come in here. I'm sorry. Uh, am I in there? Oh, sorry about the coffee, guys. How about a highball? My father's a little nervous. How about a speedball? I understand. We'll work around it. Not a problem. Dad, please, just sit. Okay. All right. Okay. You know, Just, I'd like a, to have a lawyer present when we do this. You already signed the release. No, I mean, I'd like to get a present for my lawyer. A lawyer present. <laughs> oh, okay. The cover-up runs deep. How deep? Um, really deep. Deep, deep. So you're saying that if I wrote this story, I would bring down the most powerful man in the free world? You mean Bill Gibson? No, I mean the President of the United States of America. Oh, it doesn't run that deep. That would be really deep. Mm. I want to thank you for all your help on this. And the American people will thank you, too. I hope not all at once. That would be really loud. <laughs> That's a joke. Oh. I guess with everything going on in my life, my mistress trying to kill me and everything, my, my sense of humor is gone. Um, one more thing before you go. I wasn't leaving. Oh. Yeah. That's awkward. It is weird. Okay. Um, here, I want you to have this. Ha! Ah, now that's funny. Oh, uh, it's not a joke. I'll cherish it. I sort of want you to throw it out. It reminds me of my father. Oh, does he look like a zebra? Uh, no. Oh. Someone's coming. Were you followed? Yes, were you? Yes. Um, oops. I sense that your character is tormented by his unfaithfulness to his wife. Oh. But in this particular clip, he seems to be a little bit more aloof hmm. with regard to his infidelity. Is that accurate? Sure. That's... yeah. Well, what is the significance of the zebra? Huh. Does it represent redemption for your character? Are the stripes a metaphor for the cell that keeps him a prisoner of his own dark secrets? Wow. <laughs> Boy, you said it. But actually, no, no. The, the, the thing about the zebra is that it, uh, it looks like a horse. Okay. Horse. Yeah, and um, if you put peanut butter on a horse's gums, they look like they're talking. And that's why there's peanut butter on its face. Yeah. But what you said is really good, too. So, Jason, I understand you really enjoy the sandbox. Aren't we supposed to talk about the movie? Well, I'm focusing on the sandbox right now. I want to see where you, where you get your ideas, where, where your whole genesis is. What? The beginning. Your beginning. Right. I like um, the, my sandbox because I like sitting in sand, and sometimes I pretend I'm sitting in the desert. Really? The desert? Let's move on. Okay. So, I have to talk to you about the movie Fat Her. You're playing a lot of different characters in this movie. Yeah, I've played um, 11 characters, 8 of them women, including one who's um, 5 months pregnant, uh, another who is 7 months pregnant, and one who can't conceive but who's pregnant. My, my, my. That is a tremendous range for someone so young. Yes, well, stuffing a pillow under my shirt helps. Yeah. Sometimes cats come in the sandbox and poop. And the guy took my spot. I mean, I clearly was going to park there, and I was pretty upset. So I took a deep breath, closed my eyes, and thought, how am I going to handle this? Kick his ass. Wait, John, hold on to your thoughts. Uno momento, please. I'm just saying, you kick his ass or you hit his Let's car. Let's find out what Larry did, and we will get back to your comment. Continue, Larry. Well, 
I took a couple more deep breaths and I realized it was stupid to get upset over a parking space. So I drove around a little more and I found another spot. A better one. A so. better parking spot. To the victor go the spoils. And how did you feel, Larry? Tell us. Well, I, I felt really... Uh, Let us all listen to Larry and learn, for Larry will teach. Well, I, I really felt... Um, Think I, about what you're saying, Larry. Well, you know, I felt really... Uh, Larry, you know, just I, relax, let it flow. Yeah, for me... Don't hold back, was, man. Tell us everything. Yeah. Well, I felt, uh, for me, it was... A, if we a, listen, Larry... Why don't you shut up and let me tell them? Right. Go ahead. Sorry. I felt good, you know? It was nice to, f to finally... For me, he felt was, good. Good is good. Stop interrupting me! <laughs> I'm going out for some deep breaths. Okay, John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, that was funny what happened with Larry. <laughs> huh? He's messed up. It was a bit upsetting. Larry's a mess. John, let's talk about you. Tell me about yourself. Um, I'm not feeling too good about this. Everyone's uncomfortable at first, John. Yeah, yeah. And then what happens? What are your problems, my friend? Where? I mean, I'm not really an angry person, you know? I just, I don't, I hate people, and I hate my job. Good, acceptance. And I hate my mother. I don't know, work with that. I'll be back with my decision. Would you ever cheat on your husband? No. Mm. You know, by studying these fossilized footprints, I believe that dinosaurs would often split up and leave each other. Would you like to go out to dinner some night? Sometimes one of the parent dinosaurs would leave and never see the baby dinosaur again. That's sad. For the baby. But some animals eat their young, so it's not that bad. Oops. Can we just stop the film here for a second? Sure. I must say, Brendan, though it's a tad difficult to follow at times, this film is extremely creative. I can see why you kids won the award. Ah, uh, shucks. So where do you get all of this creativity? I would, I'd have to say from my mom, you know, she's a, she's a very creative person, she teaches creative writing, she writes, you know, herself, she does, she's a, and I've read some of her work, and, uh, uh, not very good, but, you know, she's very creative, and I'd say, like, if I get it from anybody, it's gotta be from her. So what about your dad? I bet he's pretty creative, too, huh? Uh, Brendan? Brendan, are you okay? Brendan! I'm fine. I was just, I was just thinking. Oh, you're such a smelly little girl. You made a big messy mess for Mommy to clean up, didn't you, huh? Yes, you did. You made a little mess. Mom? You did. Oh, dear Lord. Is there another dead animal on the floorboards? No, that's your little baby sister made a little messy mess. Mommy's going to block her nose just a little while. Yeah, I'm going to stand outside the room just a little bit. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Mom? Yeah? What was the name of that guy? Uh, you know, that guy that... That used to live, uh, that used to live here, uh, father. That's right. What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Just questions. Dixie, father, interview. Use you know, sentences, please. Well, Dixie's been asking me a lot of personal questions, like how creative is, you know, my father, and, and I don't really know how to answer those questions. <clears throat> well, I, I was going to call him to tell him about the award, so uh, I'll, just, I'll just call and tell him to, to give you a call sometime. Okay, that's good. Just, he'll call. You know, whatever, whatever is fine. Thank you. Don't mention it. I will not. Okay. Oh, there's my little Josie. Little girl's all nice and clean, isn't she? Oh, Clean. Mom? Can you never talk like that again, please? Sorry. Dear advisory of my father. Dear advisory of my father. Dear advisory of my father. Mm, I guess he's not home. Do you still want to go to the movies? No, it kind of wouldn't be the same without Brendan. I mean, who's going to sit in the middle? Yeah, well, I'm going to the movies. Adult Swim's New Year's Eve bash will be back, my friend. Your battle between Autobots and Decepticons has shifted to Earth. You have no way to stop us. Whoever can possess the Minicons 
will command their great power. Now, every Transformer in the universe will fight to claim them or die trying. Now, five days a week, Transformers Armada. Weekdays at 5.30. Much more than meets the eye. I'm gonna turn it off. Only Tsunami. He has come to enslave Eternia. I am Skeletor, overlord of evil. His power knows no limits. Have you the faintest inkling to whom you speak? His hordes will stop at nothing. Unfortunately, they don't stand a chance. I believe I'm going to gag. Catch He-Man five days a week. Masters of the universe. Weekdays at five. Only Toonami. Bond. James Bond. Double O Seven Nightfire Rated T for Team. Introducing all new America Online 8.0. We listened to you and designed AOL 8.0 with hundreds of exciting new features. Welcome. New AOL email sort gets you to important mail faster. New AOL call alert lets you be online and never miss important phone calls. Choose a welcome screen tailored to your interests. There are hundreds of new features to easily connect you to the people and things you care about most. New America Online 8.0. Call 1-800-4-ONLINE or get a free startup disk at these locations. to Adult Swim's New Year's Eve Bash. The thing is, Brendan, a lot of guys become fathers and they don't know the first thing about being a father. No, you don't. Janine, do not stand there. You have to run. Soccer is a game of running. For a game of standing around, as you seem to think it is, we wouldn't need shoes. We would just wear socks or go barefoot. Yeah, Coach McGurk, are you all right? I'm fine, Brendan! Mm. Thank you for asking. Look, Brendan, I know you blame your father for a lot of things, and maybe it is all his fault. There you have it. Thanks. Anyway, don't make the same mistakes I made, or my father, or your father. Like what? Well, like this morning, I poured orange juice in my cereal. I wasn't thinking. I just grabbed it, poured it. I was half asleep. Then I realized I love it. Like, it's a great mix. Then I realized it's the corporations and the advertisers who prevent us from doing stuff like this. They program us to think one way. Milk, cereal. Right. Then you realize orange juice cereal is fine. It all goes in the same place. You know the old saying. Yeah, I know that saying. Point is, Brendan, give your father a chance. Right. Janine, would you prefer I get in my car and drive you up and down the field? Huh? Or do you want me to get you a rickshaw? How about that? Now I'm rubbing you up and down the field in a rickshaw. Welcome to China, Janine. Oh, crap. Okay, this is our current work in progress. It's a comedy about a beautiful young girl, the daughter mm -hmm. of a self-serve gas station attendant, right? Oh, mm -hmm. Who, through a series of bizarre mishaps, ends up being mistaken for bizarre... Uh, mishaps ends up being mistaken for a princess and is kidnapped by a bunch of inept over-the-hill mobsters who are trying to get a, enough money together so they can buy a struggling minor league baseball team and retire. Wow! Action! I got my daddy! Cut. Beautiful. That's a wrap. Seventeen. Eighteen. Oh, come on. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Oh, God. lady, do you believe this guy? 22. It says no more than 12, but this fish head's got 22. All right, breathe. Relax. Now breathe again. Oh, now what? Now come on, pal. It says 12 items or less. 12 or less. Oh, good. You can read. Yeah, apparently you can't. Hey, look, pal. Why don't you shut your pipe before my foot clogs it? Oh, is that a threat or a poem? Oh, you know what? Not worth it. It's not worth it. Forget it. <laughs> I'm I'm not worth it. No, 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 no. You know what? Control. I'm gonna stay in control. That's what I'm gonna do. Stay what? in control, John. What did you say to me? When? The Just oh. now. What did you call me? You know what? I'm not talking to you. Oh! Now you think you're better than me, is that it? Look, pal, I used to be just like you, sort of. A little different. Please. Alright, so I know what you're going through, but I'm trying to deal with my impulse control. Booyah! 
So I guess, uh, I guess that's when he hit me. When I woke up, he was running my head over the checkout thing, trying to get a price on me. John, let me first say from the bottom of my heart as a caring human being, I am sorry for your humiliation and pain, but I praise you for your determination and your lack of retaliation. You know, Dr. Frizzell, I gotta be honest with you right now. You know, brutally honest. You suck at this. All you do is make people angry. Like, every time I listen to your droning voice, I get angry. And then you tell me that's my problem. But I'll tell you, I think it's you. I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, I'm mad. Because I'm just a mad person. I'm an angry person. But that's not it. It's you. Tell me. Come on, man. No, no, no. You're not gonna suck me in with that. Do you like chicken wings? Yeah, I, I do like chicken wings. Yeah, why? They're delicious. What do you think, man? Oh, I thought you were gonna give me an analogy. No, there's no chicken wing analogy. Oh. You're a weird one. So, you've made over 400 films together. That's amazing. Thanks. Some are very, very short films with no endings. Still impressive. What is the longest film you've ever made? Well, the longest film was 21 and a half hours long. Mm. But we, um, but we left the camera running accidentally. Oh. So there's a pretty big chunk in the middle where nothing happens. Oh, okay. Answer the phone! I'm sorry, did I interrupt you? Okay, Melissa, bring it in. Good job, Melissa. Thanks, Coach. Sorry the ball went off my head into our own goal. Yeah, yeah, I know, I saw that. It's all right. You know, just, just a game. These things happen. Good try, Jeremy. Nice try. It's okay. Way to move up the field, Janine. Very good. Nice shot, Jeremy. It almost... Hey! Coach Hack! What do you teach these kids? How to lose? Because that's all you do! I, uh, I think that, that guy's talking to you, Coach McGurk. Let him talk, Brendan. Let him talk. All right, very good. Keep it going. Don't quit. Yeah, I wish you quit, you bum. Don't you have to know a little bit about soccer in order to coach it? Yes, and he does know a little bit. Melissa, stay out of this. Oh, what, are you going to have the kids fight your battles for you, you wussy? <laughs> I've been watching you all year. You're a bum. A B-E-M bum. I could coach circles around you. Of course, it'd have to be pretty big circles to get around your fat ass. Uh, coach McGurk, you all right? I'm fine, Brendan. I'm fine. Hey, can't you hear me, lot ass? Or are your eardrums filled with fat, too? Clean them out. Hey, aren't you going to yell at him or, or hit him? No, Brendan, I'm not going to do any of those things. All right, actually, I feel sorry for that guy. Really? Yeah, because he obviously had some deeply troubling issues. Probably had a bad childhood, just like you guys. Way to go, Janine. Way to move down the field. But you're going the wrong way, but that's totally okay. Hey, what are you gonna, what are you gonna eat between halves, fat? <laughs> How about a fat sandwich on fat bread, you fathead? Brenda, do I look fat to you? McGurk. Oh, Miss Plum, you look great. Sorry we lost, but winning isn't everything. Well, they played a good game. Well, the kids try. That's what I, you know, insist. I, I was talking about the other team. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but you showed me something today, McGurk. Yeah. You controlled your anger. I was impressed. I've decided you can stay on as soccer coach. Wow, wow. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Miss Plum. Thank you uh, very much. You've shown marked improvement in your anger. You're extremely kind. You're probably one of the kindest people I know. Y keep up the good work, McGurk. Yeah. I'll be watching you. That's illegal. Your short's the 6 o'clock news. Hey, Dixie said it was the 6 o'clock news. But it's almost 6.25. It'll be on. Hey, this dip is unbelievable, and I'm not talking about me either. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eric. It, do you want a beer? Uh, no, one is my limit. Y you didn't have one yet. Okay, well, bring it on. I mean, let the good times roll. <laughs> Dad. Oh, boy. This is so exciting. I, I, it's I, odd. It's odd. Oh, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. And now here's Dixie Smithley with Entertainment Insight. Thanks, Charlie. Have you ever wondered where the next Steven Spielberg, Jodie Foster, or Ed Wood would come from? Well, I have. In fact, I had a chance to sit down and chat with three future Hollywood bigwigs who were the recent recipients of this year's Young Filmmakers Award. At ages 8, 8, and 7, Brendan, Melissa, and Jason are very young. But let me tell you, if these kids are the future of movies, then hold on to your popcorn, because we're in for a crazy ride. Charlie? <laughs> Thanks, Disky. And speaking of crazy rides, here's Stormy Weatherhead with the latest on the deadly tornado. Stormy? 
That's it? All those interviews? All that footage they shot? Ugh, I was so young then. Hey, look on the bright side. It was very, very positive. She called you all three big wigs, huh? Three big wigs? My three big wigs? Mm. Oh, Brendan, that's probably your father. He was going to watch the news. He said he'd call. What? what? My dad? Uh, me and fa father? It's up to you, Brendan. I'll get it. Dad. <clears throat> Hello? Coming to Adult Swim in 2003. Oh, I love that little bark, kid. Can I do the countdown? Huh? Oh, sure. Knock yourself out. Ten. Nine. Okay, we're here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Adult Swim's New Year's Eve bash will be right back. What if there was a better way to watch TV? What if you had crystal clear picture and digital music? What if you could get program info instantly with an on-screen guide? Now get up to 200 channels of movies, shows, and music, plus an easy-to-use on-screen guide. Digital cable from Time Warner Cable. Free connection to Time Warner Cable with your $5 donation to our Harvester's Holiday Campaign. Plus connect to digital cable and get your first three months at half price. To prove yourself, to avoid peril, and realize your skill, you have the magic. Summon your talent, defeat your foes, and be Harry Potter in the video game Harry Potter at the Chamber of Secrets. Rated E for everyone. EA Games. He's not my boyfriend. This He's holiday so season, get over to KFC and get amazing values on America's favorite chicken. Ballet! <laughs> Bye! Skating! Later! Ball! See ya! Football! For limited time, get 45% more popcorn chicken free when you get an individual size for just $1.99. Perfect for on the go. Or get a 10-piece bucket of original recipe or extra crispy to eat at home for an unbelievable $7.99. So whichever one you choose, KFC's got great values for you. Hottest Games. You're instantly connected to your favorite AOL features and can use all your screen names at one time. Call 1-800-860-8969 and get two months free service, free installation, and a modem to use. New AOL Broadband 8.0. Everything you want instantly. The primitive beauty, grace, and mysterious ways of animals have fascinated us ever since we were children. And now, through the captivating, colorful pages of Zoo Books, the publication especially created for young readers, your child will visit steamy jungles and grassy plains, the dark depths of the oceans, and the frozen Arctic wilderness to meet and learn surprising facts about the magnificent animals that live there. They'll discover the secrets of solitary predators and the strategies of hunting packs, find out that sharks don't have a single bone in their body, and be amazed to learn that the largest animal in the world, the whale, survives by eating the smallest living organisms. I've always had zoo books. Ever since I was little, I love looking at the pictures. But now that I'm older, I use them to write school reports. They're cool. Every issue of Zoo Books is packed with breathtaking full-color photos and scientifically accurate illustrations, and written so that the words and pictures work together to make reading and learning a fun experience. Your child will look forward to Zoo Books' monthly games and puzzles. And while they're playing, they're learning important concepts, building their vocabulary. I use Zoo Books in my third grade class and at home. My kids love them. Zoo Books make learning exciting and fun. 
Right now, through this exclusive TV offer, you can get 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for the special low price of $19.95. What's more, call within the next 20 minutes and use your credit card, and we'll include this informative, fun-to-read issue dedicated to the largest of all land animals, the elephant. Yours absolutely free. Plus, as a special bonus, you'll get this colorful collection of animal stickers and this cool tiger poster that'll delight any youngster. So order Zoo Books now and send learning and fun to a child you love. Reading was boring, but then I got Zoo Books. They're great. I can't wait till I get the next month's issue and find out what the new animal is. To order 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for the unbelievable price of $19.95, call 1-800-441-2400. Remember, call within the next 20 minutes and we'll include the bonus elephant issue, stickers, and tiger poster absolutely free. You must be 18 years of age or older to call. How'd that flavor taste going down, Daddy Man? The guy got in his wiener and then just disappeared. How the hell can it cut the power? It's a shark. Holy crap. Dad is sleeping in his tree now. When are we going to go home? Two more weeks. Two more weeks? Shut up and eat your squirrel meat. All kids out of the pool. Adult Swim, next Sunday at 10 on Cartoon Network. Carl, what were some of your most memorable moments from 2002? What the questions here? Why do you care? Cause I'm black and I'm nosy. All right, fine. Let me, uh, let me think here. Oh, what is this? You are a naughty girl. What are you doing coming by my bedroom? I thought you had a photo shoot. And give us some candy. Oh, God! Oh, do not tell me that that is my car up there on the roof! Oh, thank God I left this on Jamaican. <laughs> what the hell happened to you? What? <laughs> Oh, God! Man, I'm sorry I asked. Channel 2, they're Scooby-Doo. Before we dig into this delicious cake, I'd like to say a few words, if I may. On Channel 9, there's Frankenstein. You know, Webster defines wife as the female partner in marriage. Well, that... On Channel 10, there's Naked Man. Rodney! That, that hardly does justice to my Wanda. On Channel let's not... 80, a naked lady. Rodney! <laughs> let's not... Be too hard on our old friend and Webster. something dirty on Channel 30. You're being rude to Mr. McPherson. But he's boring. So you're going to slow him down? Um, uh, because I doubt Shakespeare himself. The sooner you stop interrupting, the sooner he'll shut up and we can all have some cake. Could, uh... Gee, I guess you're right. Gee, I guess I am. Could, uh, find the words to capture my Wanda and so forth. Happy birthday. Let's see. I am going to kill you! Mrs. Mack, I am so sorry I'm late. Here you are, another year closer to death, and I don't even have a present. It's okay, Busy. I was having another fight with my mom's stupid boyfriend. Guy's a loser with a capital Lou. Sounds like a jerk. He's totally jerkified. Hello. Wanda, do you think it's a good idea to automatically take Busy's side? Daryl, I'm proud that she confides in me. Yeah, but we don't even know her mom's boyfriend. <laughs> You're just jealous because you've lost your rapport with teenage girls. So your name's Michelle, huh? Are you the Michelle the Beatles sing about? <laughs> I've got as much as I ever had. Oh, 
the E volume of your encyclopedia. I love things that start with E. Thank you, Megan. I have to take it back after the party. Well, I guess it's time to give you my present. Sorry it's so small. <laughs> A key? To what? Maybe everyone should just follow me. <laughs> what is it? The answer to your prayers. Daryl got you a beige minivan. Now that's what I call a sharp ride. And the bulky ergonomic egg shape is a real gas saver. A minivan? A, a minivan. minivan. I know it seems awfully generous, but I wanted to show exactly how I felt about you. So, what do you think? <laughs> Glad I ain't you. I'm home if she wants a Percocet. I thought you'd like a minivan. What? Were they out of wood-paneled station wagons? Oh, but think how useful it'll be in the next few years, what with bake sales, school functions, soccer mom stuff. Tell me you didn't just say soccer mom. Huh? I know what you're trying to do to me. Why don't you just tie me to the couch and force me to watch the recipe network? Wanda, I don't understand you. Oh, there's a bulletin. Busy? I need to talk to Mrs. Mac. Is there something I can do? You can get Mrs. Mac! Busy? <laughs> I had another bite with my mom's stupid boyfriend. I hear you, Biz. I hear you. He's such a jerk. I know just what it's like to have some man think he knows what's best for you. He really has no idea. Uh, exactly. So exactly. <laughs> 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 okay, if I crash with you, you're the only woman around here who won't kill me in my sleep. would be phased out once non-sexual reproduction was perfected, but I thought it would take centuries, not a few days. I'm surprised how little we miss them. Miss who? <laughs> <laughs> who wants juice? Oh, I yeah, do. Yeah, you oh, yes. just... Water break, boss? Not yet, boy. Yeah. <sighs> Guess you're hungry, huh? Morning, Mr. Mac. Yeah! I spoke to her mom, and she said it was fine if Busy stayed here until things cooled off at home. Wanda, this is crazy. Since when are we running a halfway house for troubled youth? Ah, oh, I thought I smelled pancakes. Morning! Hi. Hey. I'm gonna go sneak some stuff out of my house while my mom's stupid boyfriend is still asleep. Good luck avoiding the jerk. Thanks. Bye, Mr. Mac. Sorry I saw your package. Oh, Daryl, could you take care of Zoe tonight? Busy and I are going out. I thought we were going to watch bloopers and roll pennies. I know, but Busy really needs a friend right now. I'll be your friend. I hope I have the same relationship with Zoe when she's a teenager. I think Zoe might prefer you acted your age. Oh, stop it, Daryl. You're such an old man. Busy and I are going out tonight, and we're taking your car. Whew. Sorry about your life, guy. And then she has the nerve to call me an old man. I'm not even 30. I don't think she was referring to your numerical age so much as the way you make her feel. Now, what's that supposed to mean? You no longer excite her. You're set in your ways. Predictable. I'm not the least bit predictable. Oh, that's mature. Okay, that's it. Out! Should have gone with my first instinct. Look, I don't care what you or Wanda or anybody else says. I happen to believe that once you have a child, you have to stop acting like a child. And I don't think that makes me an old man. I think that makes me a man. There. I don't think that's on your little pad. Check your email. Okay, I'm impressed. Busy, I know you're going through a lot of heavy stuff right now, so if you want to talk, I'm here for you. <laughs> Mrs. Mac, don't go all very special Save by the bell on me. 
Oh, hey, I got you a birthday present. What is it? A friendship bracelet. See, I don't think of you as a mom. I think of you the same way I think of my friends. Hey, scum buckets, get your narrow asses in the vehicle. Uh, Busy, who are these people? This is Berkeley. What's up? And that's Amber and Sue. Hi, girls. I'm a dude, lady. It's S-I-O-U-X. His parents are hippies. So, like, who invited Florence Henderson? Shut it, whore. She's with me. Slut. Skag. Skang. Skis. So, like, Devin rode his motorcycle into a mailbox, and now he's, like, completely brain dead. So? So his party's off, duh. Bummer. We're here. Oh, team night. That looks fun. Yeah, I bet they got pizza pie and soda pop. Uh, Mrs. Mack, we're going there. But Waterpalooza is closed. Thank you, Professor Obvious. Hey, I thought I told you to dumpster the heinosity. Dad, what is it with you and Oldie McDusty Bones? She's my friend. You got it? My friend! You coming, Mrs. Mack? I'm coming. Oh, great. The dolphin tank is locked. Harsh! Total. So you want to chuck corn dogs at the Sea Life mural? Mail spelled backwards is a lame. Wait a minute. What are those? Portable breast pumps. Come on in! All right, the suctioning! Oh my god, I am dying! Like, so dying! I am dead. Busy. I don't think I should be here. Why not? Everyone likes you since you helped us break and enter. But I'm somebody's mother. See, that's your problem, Mrs. Mack. You let other people define who you are. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Well, if you say so. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> they call her Wanda, Wanda, faster than lightning. No one you see is smarter than she. That was totally aquatic. Hey, where's Mrs. Mack? Maybe she drowned. We better get our story straight. <gasps> Well on, Mrs. Mack! Call me Wanda! Okay, Wanda. Adult Swim's New Year's Eve batch will be right back! The reincarnation of an ancient warrior. I'm not her! The reincarnation of who? a half-man, half-demon. Must regain the shards of a magic jewel. I like not the looks of it. Or all humanity is lost. Not in my lifetime, pal. Of course. They may kill each other first. Your brain's broken or something. Inuyasha. Saturday night, 11, 11, 30. Sit, boy! Huh? Part of Adult Swim. Whatever you do, don't call them cartoons. They don't like being called cartoons. Dragon Ball Z Budokai, available on PlayStation 2 Rated Team. The most powerful game system has the best holiday offer. Now get an Xbox, Sega GT, and Jet Set Radio Future for $199.99. Two free games, $100 value, and an Xbox, all for just $199.99. Rated E to T. For a great deal this holiday, there's no power greater than X. Traffic's really backed up out there today. Cars are lined up for months. Hey, buddy. Get Minority Report on DVD for your home. Available now at Target. You can't be in here. It's against the rules. Anything else going on in here that's against the rules? I love the holidays. The whole family comes over. We show pictures, we laugh, we joke, tell old stories, new stories. I wish it would never end. Keep the warmth of the holidays all year long with the gift of America Online. Visit AOL keyword AOL gift. It's the perfect way to always keep your family and friends close together. I have a special family, and I love having them with me. Is not having your high school diploma keeping you from making the kind of money you want? 
With PCDI, you'll get a nationally accredited diploma, not just a GED. PCDI also offers many other exciting career training opportunities. Get your career diploma in medical claims billing, paralegal, electrician, pharmacy technician, child daycare, medical transcription, interior decorating, private investigator, medical dental office assistant, or get your associate degree in criminal justice, accounting, business management, early childhood education, paralegal, healthcare management, human resources, or get your high school diploma. With PCDI, you train at home at your own pace. Don't wait. Call for free literature on the career of your choice. Or visit our website at www.pcdi.com. Call 1-800-980-9994 for free literature on any one of the courses listed on your screen. There's no obligation, so call 1-800-980-9994. Call now. Attention swimmers, we've got a Sea Lab premiere. I, uh... I suppose you're wondering why Captain Glenn would just as well not set eyes on me. Premieres next Sunday at 11 on Adult Swim. Now back to Adult Swim's New Year's Eve pass. Let's go, Sue. Okay, Dad. A boy named Sue. What did I do? How did Mr. Max sound on the phone? He was pretty upset. I'm sorry I got you into all this. Oh, no. Tonight was fantastic. I loved every minute of it. Except, you know, when the whale ate all those dolphins. No good church punks. Which one of these is yours? Those two. Both of them? That one's my wife. That one's crashing in my house. No wonder they don't know right from wrong. I have to come out here in the middle of the night, wake up Carl to watch Zoe. We said we were sorry. I'm very disappointed in both of you. Don't talk to us like we're children. Well, you're certainly acting like children. God, Mr. Mac, you sound just like my mom's stupid boyfriend. Hey, I want peep out of you, young lady. Peep. <laughs> Hi, Carl. Thanks for watching Zoe. Ain't no problem, Daryl. They're home. Uh, you may want to flip that cushion. Shelby had a big gulp for dinner. Why did you bring your kids over? I wanted to teach them a lesson. Rodney, Megan, Shelby, take a good look at this picture. What do you see? Absence of discipline. And what else? Lack of a strong male figure. Exactly. Now do you see why I'm strict with you? Wow, it's all starting to make sense. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, Princess. Maybe you should be a little tougher on us. <laughs> now, you let me worry about that. Now, let's go home. Yes, sir! Thanks for helping me scare them straight, Chief. So then I get a call in the middle of the night that Wanda's been busted, and I gotta come bail her out. Babes behind bars, me likey. You know, Wanda's always had a wild side. If she keeps hanging out with our teenage babysitter, that spark could become a raging inferno. Da, women need women friends. Take my wife. We used to fight all the time. Then she started hanging out with this nice gal down the street. Got her into weightlifting, ladies professional golf, home repair. Now I get my Saturday nights to myself while they lock the door and play board games in the basement. <laughs> yep, we got a perfect marriage. All thanks to her special friend. So, going out tonight? Mm-hmm. Wanda, I think we need to have a talk. I know what you're going to say, Daryl, and you're absolutely right. I am? I haven't been acting my age lately. I'm a wife and a mother, and what I did last night was wrong. I'm sorry. Well, this is a welcome improvement. Okay, guys, I'm off to the library. I want to get a jump on next week's homework. <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one benefiting from your guidance. Just pointing you ladies in a direction you would have found eventually. Well, Zoe and I are off to Melinda's. She's hosting a quilting bee. Oh, don't be late. <laughs> <laughs> Carl was wrong. There is a strong male figure in this house. Zoe is a very lucky little girl. Does Grandpa buy it? Oh, yeah. 
I guess even angels can learn a lesson. Don't tell me this show doesn't have edge. Hey there, little man. Could you go get my wife? Your wife? Yeah, she's taking part in the quilting bee. What in Balzac's name are you talking about? Rodney! Stop talking to Mr. McPherson about where his wife may or may not be. But he's got this cockamamie notion that... Hey, you know that pie I said you couldn't have any of? <laughs> you can have some if you go eat it right now. Okay. Now, uh, what can I do for you? I need to ask Wanda where she keeps the dust buster. I had a little accident cleaning out the hole puncher. Oh, she's busy. Uh... Quilting? Yeah, that. So, uh, you go ahead home and I'll tell her to call you. But it may take a while because, um, our phone is broken. I'll get it. Oops, guess somebody Hello? fixed it. Oh, now I remember. I guess so. She's actually in the bathroom. Ah, done and done. Thing of beauty, Mel, you should have been there. Mommy, that was Mrs. McPherson. She wanted to know how the big cover-up was going. Melinda, what's going on? Uh, Wanda went out with Busy and her friends. What? She asked me to lie for her. I knew I'd get yelled at. She's got Zoe with her. I gotta go find him. Poor SOB. So where are we going? It's a surprise, but I know you're gonna love it. Yeah, this place is so Wanda. It's Wanda World. You're a very lucky little girl. Name me another mom who's so cool that teenagers like to hang out with her. You can't. There isn't one. Showtime! Ooh, this is spooky. Are we gonna sit in a circle and summon spirits? Hardly. Witchcraft is so two years ago. What's this for? Digging. Digging what? Dead people, duh. We're in a cemetery. Why would you dig up dead people? For their skulls? To decorate our lockers. That's horrible! Because of the maggots and stuff? Because it's wrong! Relax. I heard they're Polynesian people that build their houses out of bones. Or some. I think. You didn't mind trespassing last night, Miss Law Abiding McLawstein. This isn't wrong because it's against the law. It's wrong because humans don't dig up other humans. You're putting it down without even giving it a chance. Yeah, and everything's subjective. Who are you to dictate moral absolutes? Like, whoa! Deep. I'm someone who is a lot older than you and has a much better idea of what is and isn't proper behavior. You sound exactly like my mom's stupid boyfriend. Don't you take that tone with me. But Wanda... It's Mrs. Mack to you, young lady, and there will be no grave robbing tonight. Come on, Biz. I want to get some knuckle bones for my keychain. Wanda? Daryl! What's going on here? They're about to do unspeakable things, and they won't listen to me. Maybe they'll listen to me. <gasps> What's he doing here? When I couldn't find you, I went by Busy's house and he asked to come along. He was at Busy's house? Him? Drew Carey? Busy, are you all right? Wow, you know Drew Carey? I know I'm all right. He's my mom's stupid boyfriend. Your mother and I were very worried about you. Why can't you just leave me alone, Drew? Because I care about you and I don't want you to make bad choices. And from the look of those shovels, you were about to make a very bad one indeed. Hey! What are you meddling kids doing? Zoinks! Like it's the creepy caretaker! Looks like our little talk will have to wait. Everyone in the van! Seatbelts! After that! Wow, I didn't know this thing had so much pickup. That's the V6 engine. We've got company. Hang on! Daryl, all this bumping around is upsetting Zoe! I'll fix that. <gasps> it's like floating on a cloud. All part of the luxury package. And check this out. What did you just... Ooh. Seat warmer. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got you. Like yikes! They're gaining on us! Uh -oh. Drew, we're gonna hit that gate! Not if my calculations are correct. Ah! 
curse you, Drew Carey! Good thing a Freemason was buried near that gate. Wow, Drew. Like, how'd you know we'd make it? I remembered my high school geometry. Sure, sometimes it was tough hitting the books while my friends were out having fun, but today I have my own hit TV show. And what do they have? Nothing. Gee, Drew, maybe I have been going down the wrong path. I'm glad to hear you say that, Busy. Remember, without education and values, even a pretty girl can be pretty boring. This whole thing was my fault. All because I wanted to be a cool mom. Well, Wanda, no one can blame me for wanting to get down. But sometimes it's more important to sit down with your child and set limits. That's what I try to tell her. No, no, hold on, Daryl. This all started because you forgot Wanda was more than just a mom. Remember, to be a mother, a woman has to be a lover first. Heavy. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Drew, how did you become so wise? Well, most TV episodes wrap up with a valuable lesson. I, I guess I've been paying attention. Drew, do you think it'd be okay if I moved back in? Busy, I think that would be great. Mr. Carey, could I ask you a question? Always happy to help the kids. Like, why is the sky? Uh, you mean, why is it blue? No, like, why is it? Well, that really doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to be the answer, man. What's a stupid question? I bet Frazier would know. Daryl, you want to take the wheel? I'm just going to hop out at that strip joint. Three Adult Swim's got Futurama, so, uh, you know, lift your head out of the toilet, jackass, and watch it. Mmm, <gasps> welcome to my humble chamber, or as I call it, the love Nasium. Sham Pagan. I didn't realize you were such a coin sewer. <laughs> well, I have studied abroad. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> Adult Swim's New Year's Eve bash will be right back. You ask for it, and you got it. The best action cartoons on the planet are back. They is great one, not the like it. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z. I'll make you pay. Three days for the pride. Yesterday, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z episodes back to back. All new Dragon Balls and your favorite DBZ episodes. Don't be sweet and tasty. Only tomorrow. Now with Play TV Baseball 2, you can get off the couch, stand up and swing. Play TV Baseball is Just real. plug it into your TV and you're on the field. Baseball night. Get out of here! Play TV Baseball 2. Batteries not included. Rated E for everyone. At the core of sports burns a blistering inferno of explosive action. Aggressive, hardcore, adrenaline style. MLB Slugfest, NFL Blitz, NHL Hits. Ignite your game. Rated everyone. Rated T. Welcome to destruction in the 31st century. Mech Assault. Massive destruction. Online and off. There's no power greater than X. Now you can fight breakouts while you sleep. With new Clearasil Overnight Acne Defense Gel. Its unique formula helps clear pores and kills bacteria. So you'll wake up with clearer, healthy-looking skin. For clear skin, Clearasil. Now, with Play TV Boxing, you can... Get off the couch and into the ring. ring. Play TV Boxing is a real thing. No controller, no joystick. Just plug it into your TV and go. Special IR sensors in the gloves and base actually detect which punches you throw. Jab, block, uppercut, hook. Here comes the left, and I'll count it. TV Boxing is a real thing. Bam. The chip is going down. Play TV Boxing comes with gloves and game unit. Batteries not included. Rated E for everyone. Average guy. Sorry. Evil scientist. You can forget your dreams of world domination. A two billion dollar tuxedo. Tactical uniform experiment. This tux is the most incredible piece of technology on the planet. Superhero. I am very, very popular. 
Jackie Chan, Jennifer Love Hewitt, enjoy the show. You killed James Brown. The Tuxedo, rated PG-13, starts Friday, September 27th, everywhere. America Online is the best place to celebrate the holidays. Go to AOL keyword holidays for all your holiday needs. I do all my holiday shopping on AOL. It's great not to have to get in the car. On AOL, there's a gift for everybody on my list. I get all the holiday music I want. Recipes for pies and all kinds of stuff. I share holiday photos with my family. But with AOL, I can actually relax and enjoy the holidays. Happy holidays from America Online. Call 1-800-4-ONLINE or pick up a free AOL startup disc at these locations. Attention swimmers, we've got an Aqua Teen premiere. He's a for gay people. If this makes me gay, then sign me up, because I wish I had him. Premieres next Sunday at 11.15 on Adult Swim. Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. Hey everybody, Carl just went to the party, but before he left he said the clock's about to strike midnight everywhere in the world for some reason. So take it away, meatwad! Sounds horrible, everybody. This show is going to be the most special, special ever in the history of specials. And you know why? Because you're not in it. No, because I am in it. I'm the star, which means I get all the attention. Not me, you. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Okay, then. Are we ready? Oh, good. It's time for Brack Presents The Brack Show, starring Brack. Joining Brack tonight are Brack. Monica, Freddie Prince Jr., and the Chieftains. I'm your announcer, Wally Gator. And now, here's the star of our show, the toast of outer space. Hello, my name is Ralph. Daddy's home. Those are my hot pain. You sure? They fit me perfectly. Look at that mantis percolate. Don't do encourage him, Wally. Doric, you promised you wouldn't try to take over my show, but you're doing it anyway. Why did you lie to me? Because I'm a liar? Exactly! That's why I'm going to use this magic plug to cover you with batter, fry you in vegetable oil, and sprinkle you with powdered sugar, and let you cool for 15 minutes like a tank donut! What? <laughs> Now go fix your face. We got a show to do. <sighs> I'll be in my trailer. I'm Brack, and this is my show. Let's start it off with the Brack Tonic. And the Brack Head. Stomp your hands, clap your feet. Let's play down that tiger beat. I know this song is a really cool song. Hey! A song I just can't wait to sing. Hey! I'm not sure if it's a song. Hey! Well, take it out of the house, maybe it is, hey! Here's a part with a lot of drums, hey! And some saxophone! And Wally Gator! Wait a minute, 
Here's the part I just made up. Oh, McDonald, have a McDonald on the board. This isn't a song, you idiot. Hey. Then why are you singing it, Dora? Hey. I just can't control myself. Hey. Maybe it's because it's a really cool song. Hey. Splendid! <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, you guys are great. <laughs> and now is the lovely and talented Brack with Monica. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe you're really here. Oh, well, Brack, I can't believe I'm here either. Oh, my darling. Let's not fight these feelings we have for each other. Can't you say it's bigger than the both of us? Should we just sing? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. I love you, baby. I love the way that you walk. I love you, baby. I love the way that you talk. I really like it when you call my name. Hey, Bracky Wacky. Oh, boy. Yes. Everything I have is yours, and everything you have is mine. Oh, really? Yes. That's why I want to let you know that I took your puppet. Crack. The toy is mine. But I just got I want it back. But I just want the puppet it. with a hat. Give it back. Monica, Give it one. back. All right. Here's your stupid puppet. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was playing with you. Oh, Brack. I love you, baby. I love the way that you walk. I love you, baby. I love the way that you talk. Brack, I really like it when you call my name. Michael! <laughs> what? I love you, baby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, isn't she sweet? <laughs> and now, here's the hardest working man in shoe business and a heck of a guy to boot, Fran Schubert! Sing ho for the life of a shoe. Three cheers for podiatry. My soul may peel, but I'm no heel. That's my philosophy. Sing hey! Bob and pray. If I should trip and fall, I'll tie my lace, put a shine on my face, and raise to the shopping mall. Sing ho for the life of a shoe. Bravo! Bravo! Splendid! <laughs> Now, here's a true story that Brack made up about the day he went to the dentist. Many frightened people like me are afraid of the dentist. But not me. There's nothing to be afraid of unless your dentist is Dr. Shriek. Another satisfied customer. Hey. Are you Dr. Shriek? Are you a cop? No. Then yes, I am Dr. Shriek. They're playing my song. Okay, let's take a look at that broken arm. I don't have a broken arm. You want one? No, thank you. Now you understand, there will be some <laughs> discomfort. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, oh, no. Don't worry, kid, I'm a professional. <laughs> professional what? Bowler. Your tea time. Doctor, can you give me something for the pain? Certainly. Ouch. Did you feel that? Yes. I didn't feel that one. Good, we're ready. Let's do some drilling. Man, that's a big drill. 
And it's getting bigger. Oh, I wish I was somewhere else. Magic toenail, please help me. And just like that, I'm somewhere else. Thank you, Magic Toenail. I salute you. I have a magic toenail. I keep it on my foot. It's always there to rescue me when something goes kaput. It has a cutie. Free of all disease As toenails go It's really quite extraordinary Thank you Thank you Thank you Magic Toenail I love my magic toenail Magical and good. Sometimes I'll take my magic toenail to lunch and give it a sandwich because it likes to eat the sandwiches. Thank you. I love you, Magic Toenail. Ah, oh, this place is so beautiful. There's even a babbling brook. Boy, it's great being a brook. I work outdoors, I travel, meet lots of nice fish. I don't have any natural enemies except for the beavers. And Man, this is so the best day ever. And... Shut up! I'm oh, sorry. The only way this day could be better is if I was in a recording studio with the chieftains. Hey, where are you going? It's something I said. I'm sorry. I'm Just like that, I'm in the recording studio with the chieftains. Hey, chieftains! Hey, Brack! You ready to do a song, chieftains? Ready when you are, Brack! I'm born ready, chieftains! Let's rock! One, two, three, four! Complimentary? You mean I can have it for nothing? And he says, yes! And that just blew me away! You just blew me away! Hey, get off the stage! Oh, I'm just trying to make a good show! Hey, get off the stage! <laughs> Nobody appreciates Wally. You know, every now and then a fan will send me a present, like a cow or a blender, or a box of chocolates, you know the kind, with the soft gooey sinners. And it really honks me off, because I hate soft gooey sinners. When it comes to candy, you know what I like? Rock candy, bring a coupon. Rock candy, jawbreaker. Rock candy, give me cavities. Rock candy, I like cavities. Take candy from a baby. Don't take it from a stranger. I'm Zorak, I'm a stranger. Give me women drops.
the show's not over, if that's what you think. <laughs> yeah, Billy. We're coming right back with special guest, Freddie Prince Jr. Adult Swim's New Year's Eve bash will be back, my friend. Hunting for adventure? <laughs> Get me the croc hunter. Whoa, 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 whoa. This holiday, we've got it right Ooh. here. Croc Hunt. The Crocodile Hunter. Collision Course. Rocky. On DVD and VHS rated PG. Available today. Whatever you do, don't call them cartoons. They don't like being called cartoons. Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Available on PlayStation 2 rated teen. Ow. So you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? Traffic's really backed up out there today. Cars are lined up for months. Hey, buddy. This system, it is perfect. Get Minority Report on DVD for your home. Available Tuesday, December 17th at Target. You can't be in here. It's against the rules. Anything else going on in here that's against the rules? That's a first. The Sims Online. Rated T for teen. Brace yourself. The Sims are real. EA Games. Challenge everything. Well, we, had, we had an amazing road trip. It was incredible. There's nothing better than getting the guys together and hanging out for the weekend. We got a little lost on the way. Um, Eric had the map. Once again, you're pointing here, he's pointing over the 247. 247, thank you. Yeah, we mountain biked, they did a little rock climbing. We met some friends out there, some girls. And somebody came in acting like an idiot. It could have been done at a different time, but uh, I got back at him. You can't beat a road trip like that, and I'd go again any day. The new Honda Element. Go with it. Now back to Adult Swim's New Year's Eve pass. As promised, we're back! <laughs> but seriously, his brag to unfurl a fearsome flood of fanciful phrases. Put one exactly. Here's some stuff that I like. I like hubcaps, I like laundry, I like waffles, I like ant farms, I like recess, picnics, and eating pork and beans. I like tinfoil and bow ties, I like cardboard and moon pies when I'm soaking in the bathtub. I like shooting submarines. Shooting submarines. I like Doofy, I like Goofy, I like Charles Nelson Riley, I like Hee Haw, Fat Albert, and I also like corn. I like corn flakes, corn dogs, I like corn bread and corn starch, I like the bang corn and popcorn, I like all kinds of corn. All kinds of corn! He likes this, he likes that, he likes that, he likes this. Oogity boogity, life is sweet, oogity boogity, tell him girl. In black hat troubles, he likes to think of just how lucky he is. Because of all the things that I like. Oh, that. My bad. I like egg rolls and crab rolls, crab legs but not frog legs. I like duck sauce with duct tape and jumping on the bed. I like Popeye, Pippie, Popeye, Poopie, Peepie, olive oil and Pluto, and falling on my head. Falling on my head. I like drawing machete, I like big full and yeti, I like Veronica and Betty. Don't call me Jughead. I like gumballs and rum balls, I like cheese balls and cheesecake, I like pineapple upside down cake. Why is it upside down? Why is it upside down? He likes this and he likes that, he likes that, he likes this. Boogity boogity, do you want to be? Boogity boogity, tell him, Franz. When Black has trouble, he likes to think of just how lucky he is. Because of all the things that I... Like. It's time for Brack 
Encounter Brack, a discussion of topical issues in a tropical setting. Tonight's topic is... That is absolutely incorrect! We haven't started yet. Oh, so you want to start something? What are you talking about? Because if you start it, I'll tell you what, I'll finish it! Are you sure you can finish it? Maybe I should box that up for you. Good idea! Then we can have it later with our toast. What toast? You know I don't like toast. Oh, I think you'll like this toast. It's free. Free, you say? And it's toast. Wow! Will you throw in the jelly? I thought you'd never ask. Throw in the jelly! And now, it's that lovable ragamuffin, Freddie Prince Jr., on the road with our own Mad Max of comedy, Brack! Hey! Hey, Freddie! Freddie Prince Jr., I'm down here! Hey, Freddie! In the truck! Freddie! It's me, Brack! Do you want to ride? How far are you going? Cardboard City! Hop in! You sure you got room in there? Yeah, let me just move my cardboard here. Freddy, you know since we're driving down Highway 40 in my big old pickup truck, I think we should sing a song called I'm driving down Highway 40 in my big old pickup truck. What do you think about that? <sighs> wow. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why don't you start out singing the word truck, okay? Okay. I'm driving down Highway 40 in my big old pickup truck. 1940. I'm driving Wait for it. Big finish. I'm driving down Highway 40 in my big old big old truck. Oh, man. Mariachi, the famous mariachi, searching for marching bands in need of my amazing tuba. And I am El Granito, the speedy bandito. Ooh. Shut up, you! Yeah, whatever. This is my town, and our marching band is not big enough for the tuba of us. What did you say? I said tuba of us. Them strong words, hombre. But I let my tuba do the talking for me. Hello, Mr. Bandito. I'm Brachiachi's tuba. Um poop poop, um poop poop. Can I play you a song? Uh, sure. How about do you know the way to San Jose? El Brachiachi, El Brachiachi. Now his story has been told. El Brachiachi, El Brachiachi. <laughs> Brack is just full of malarkey tonight. <laughs> Someone take that malarkey away from Brack. Ollie. It's crazy man time. Ollie. Of course. <laughs> Here's Brack. Beef log, beef log, what a treat. A hefty hunk of processed meat. Dipped in mustard, oh what joy. I'm a jolly beef log boy. 
Hard and spicy, mild or plain I even eat the cellophane I might share some with my dog Cause we both love beef log Oh boy! Brack, I beg to disagree Cheese log is the log for me As a meal or as a snack Is my favorite saturated fat Cheese log, cheese log Cylindrical and yellow Cut the cheese log And I'm a happy fellow Beef log, beef log, what a treat log, Happy hunger brought that meat Tipping mustard, oh what's joy I'm a jolly I'm beef log boy Beef log! Well, that's our show for tonight. I'd like to thank all our guests. But I don't have time. We're going to Ohio. Tell my uncle, tell my aunt, I got my teeth in nice and straight. Chicken nuggets in my pants, I'm on my way to the Buckeye State. Oh, hi, Ohio, round on the end, high in the middle. Oh, hi, Ohio, oh, hi, Ohio. Oh, hi, Ohio. Oh, hi, Ohio. Left my home in Timbuk3 with my banjo on my knee. Look at me, I'm Sandra D. On our way to Ohio. Ohio, Ohio. Round on the end, high in the middle. Here's a riddle, what's round on the end and high in the middle. Oh yeah, it's um, Switzerland. No, it's Ohio, Ohio. Oh, how high I hope. Up in Cincinnati, there's a gal named Clarabelle. If she knew I was on my way, I'm pretty sure she'd run like... Hello, Cleveland! <laughs> Hello, Toledo! <laughs> Hello, Columbia! Buongiorno, Brad! Oh, hi, Ohio! Round on the end, high in the middle. In the middle, what's round on the end? And It's no, it's Ohio, Ohio! Stupid! Stupid dummy! That does it, I quit. Too late, show's over. Good night, everybody! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> I said good night, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Futurama's coming to Adult Swim in 2003. Oh, I love that little bark, kid. What do you think of the view, Fry? It really puts things in perspective. I mean, from up here, an entire world can seem utterly insignificant. Adult Swim's New Year's Eve bash will be right back. Makes sense? Who's got the time? Business isn't exactly slowing down, and Quintex Wireless understands that your communications need to stay ahead of the curve. Drop by today for a test drive of the latest in digital communications from Nextel. Featuring Nextel Direct Connect, wireless web, and mobile messaging. Quintex Wireless, an authorized representative for Nextel Communications, makes it fast and easy to choose the perfect plan for your business so you can, well, get back to business. Quintex Wireless in Signal Hill, where cellular makes sense. Lucky to travel through the rainforest, splash with dolphins, and swim with sharks without spending a fortune? You can with Comcast Digital Cable. Call Comcast today and get your first 30 days of digital service free. Plus, we'll give you four free tickets to the National Aquarium in Baltimore. Explore the treasures of the sea on new networks like National Geographic Channel, Discovery Kids, and the Science Channel. Then experience nature close up at the aquarium when you add Comcast Digital Cable. But you better hurry. Tickets are limited. Call now. Comcast High Speed Internet. It's fast, and it's the perfect way to round out your holiday planning. So instead of standing in line, get online fast and get more done. Just give us a jingle and get your first month free. Comcast High Speed Internet. Happy holidays. Ah, the holidays. A time for giving. I got you a present. Are those sharks with laser beams attached to their heads? <laughs> a time for family. I love you, Dad. Yeah. 
I love you, sir. It's a touching moment. A time for laughter. <laughs> Scotty! Take it down and notch. <laughs> and a time to buy the biggest comedy of the year. Please, I need you! Austin Powers in Gold Member. Available now on VHS and Infinite Film DVD. That's a first. The Sims Online. Rated T for Teen. Brace yourself. The Sims are real. EA Games. Challenge everything. Who'd win in a fight? To let us know. Dragon Ball Z Budokai, 23 characters, 5 fighting modes. Fight on. Available on PlayStation 2, rated T for Teen. Road Fury 2. So realistic, it puts you right in the middle of it. Rated E for everyone. It being New Year's and all, it's time to bust out those resolutions. How about you, Carl? Maybe something exercise related. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a resolution there, little man. I resolved to ditch your sorry, weird, alien ass and cruise the streets for a piece, you know what I'm saying? A piece of what? A pizza pie? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Oh, then I want some. I bet you do, you freak of nature. <laughs> oh, nature. Sir, I've been a fan of yours since the blizzard of 96. No, 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 stupid, stupid. What's the matter with me? This calls for gravitas. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm ready. Sir, as a broadcasting colleague, I'm honored to work in the same industry as a man of your stature. Bryant Gumble tried to break you, and he failed. Oh, yeah. That's the sweet stuff. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. So, did Katie's colonoscopy really weird you out, too? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the most beloved TV personality in the known universe. A renaissance man for the ages, voice of a generation, and the first Ronald McDonald, Willard Scott. Maltar, where's Willard? It's Howard Scott Warshaw. <laughs> you read the card next time. Genius. Howard Scott Warshaw? Look, it says right here, look, I'm going to show it to you. It says right here in plain English, something ard Scott something. I can't tell you how exciting it is for me to be here on the screen. Oh, shut up, you. You're not the great man who immortalized my Aunt Mabel on a jelly jar. Well, it's great to be here, SG. Looking forward to this for quite a while. Get me my Willard. <laughs> Willard! I can't tell you uh, how hap- uh, uh, There he is. I, I, I am- Did you- I mean- uh, There he is. You're here! Uh, there he is. On the- Now he's gone. On the show. Uh, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies! Now! Yes! Ah! Aw, oh, too bad. Apparently my guest today is Howard Scott Warshaw. I still have to say that it's an honor to be here and share this with you, and I can't thank you enough for giving me this opportunity to relive some of the most important things for me. You know, just thank you very much. Uh-huh, yeah, splendid. Whatever. 
my little pony collector, Bachi ball enthusiast, entomologist specializing in yars. What the heck are yars? Well, yars are very interesting little creatures. And uh, yars a kind of bug, right? You know, Zorak's a bug. Insect. Why don't you and Zorak finish this thing up? Bug is the oppressive language of a bourgeois scientific community who have sought to oppress my genus and assert their false superiority since the beginning of time. I, sir, am an insect. So, back to the bugs. Insects! You and your ignorance will rue the day! Careful, Sparky. Daddy's got 4,000 watts of fast-acting, long-lasting, long-range electrical discharge right here on the bug zap array. <laughs> So, Warshaw, stuff that up why are these yars so interesting? On some of the first interplanetary journeys that people took from Earth, a few flies got to work their way into the hole. And through all Yar. the radiation that goes on, hmm. they're traveling yars, and they were probably near Where the do I know that name so from? They started to Yar? Yar? Yar Krikorian! Did someone call my name? Bug on the set! Bug on the set! Insect. Oh. Zorak, my old nemesis. Yar. Yar Krikorian. What's it been? Twenty years? Tcha. Not long enough. Twenty years since you stole her away from me. I didn't steal her. She left you, Yar. She was all woman. And she was all mine! Nah, I don't care. She was beauty personified. She had hands and a face. Mandibles of a goddess. And every time she sneezed, a baby bird was born. She was a magical being. And you never appreciated her, Yar. That's why she left you. That's why it's payback time. Come on, give him a good old fist beating, frontier style. You know, if I had a button to show you the tingles. What? Fight, 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 fight! It's go time! Bring it! Hit him! I got your back, Yar! Go ahead! Can it, Ghost? Willard Scott told me he hates you! Liar! Oh! Come on, Yar, you okay, buddy? Come on, get up! Shake it off! Yeah, get up! Tell Lenar she was a bad kisser. You should check his lineage. Oh, I'm not touching him there. Moltar, where are my interview cards? How should I know? I'm the cook, remember? Then whip up some blue cards for me, Sheffy, and make it snappy. My guest is waiting. Coming right over, jerk. Bring some coffee, too. Black. Like your soul. How about a cherry cola? As long as it's black. Like your soul. Choke on it. Well, I see we have Wayne Coyne here from the peppy teen rock band, The Flaming Lips. Ho ho! You want some water for that? Oh, Garcon, decanter of sparkling water with a slice of lemon. Chop chop! Well, you know, you asked me, do I, do I want something to drink? But I don't want water, because the water, water takes too much of your spit away. And I like having spit in my mouth. Mm -hmm. You wash the spit away and then you're all dried up. You think you need a drink and then you drink more water, more spit goes away. <laughs> you know, uh, I could spit in your mouth. <laughs> Ew! Hey, come on. Oh, this is a good one. Nope, 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 no. Okay, you're lost, pal. Cause my saliva tastes like cherry cola. <laughs> well, after that, I've got nothing. Any questions you want to ask me, Wayne? Yep, you know, aren't you afraid of outer space? I know I am. It's There's no air. It's cold. Don't you worry that the oxygen in here is going to run out? Ah, dear confused young Wayne. Do you realize <laughs> that I am a superhero? Do you realize <laughs> That I'm practically invulnerable. Like that, Wayne? <laughs> I love that. That was one of yours. And it's all true, my friend. 
I have no fear of the vacuum of space. Just fuzzy fruit. And Ralph Macchio. Huh? The Karate Kid. We gotta get him back here. Or is he retired? Oh, he is not. He's eternally youthful. That is creepy. Now, I'm afraid of that. Yeah, he like Crane kicked you in the throat, right? That was great. <laughs> Say, Wayne, want to see Daddy burn Bug Eyes a new one? A uh, praying mantis. Um, I think they're 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 cool looking. They kind of look like they could be robots. They'd never program a robot to smell that bad. Bazang! He got you, Zorak. All you smell is your upper lip, Buckethead. Bazang! He got you, Moltar. Uh huh. Yeah, Bazang. It seems like somewhere in the future, um, people will probably be eating praying mantis, don't you think? The hell they will! Wait a minute, hold on. I think Wayne is on to something here. Don't you think insects would are almost like eating, like, lobster or shrimp? What are you, some kind of monster? What say you, chef? Hmm, lobster and shrimp are kind of like the bugs of the sea. You know, scuttling around, marinating themselves in the salty waves. Just like mantis. Crunchy on the outside, creamy in the middle. Yes! Mmm. Maybe in the future we'll be eating them. I'd like to. Ah! Keep your flaming lips to yourself, sicko! Here we go. Cajun blackened mantis etouffee. Ooh. Wow. Mmm. Man, that'd be good over rice. Sounds scrumptious. Care to join me, Wayne? Yes! Yes, of course. Let's see. Stuffed carpus with meat from the tail, seasonings and breadcrumbs. I ain't doing all that. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, let's just eat it. A great tradition on New Year's Day is eating a steaming bowl of black-eyed peas. Ah! Those are my peas! Attention swimmers. We've got an all-new Riffing Friends Uncut. Now imagine pressing your face against another human's face and mixing your saliva all up. Premieres next Sunday at 10.30 on Adult Swim. Look, I think I saw my breath. You didn't see your breath. I did. I saw it. Why don't you call Sears? Maybe I should call. Brian, I'm cold. You're cold. It's cold. It's time. Now's the time to save on Sears installed central heating systems. Save 10%. That's 10% off the regular price of select high-efficiency central heating systems. Call for a free in-home estimate. Sears offers a choice of energy-efficient Kenmore and Train systems. Replacing your old furnace with an Energy Star-labeled central heating system from Sears means greater energy efficiency. Could help save up to 40% on your annual heating costs. In time, even pay for itself. Sears also offers fast emergency installation with all work done by a Sears authorized heating specialist and satisfaction guaranteed. Plus, you'll get 10% off the regular price of select high-efficiency central heating systems. Call and save with Sears. Winner, don't you just love it? I'm warming up to mm -hmm. it. You splish and splash, splish and splash. Now your pasta's going down the drain, and your family's got hunger pains. Not anymore. Introducing Pasta Pro Cooker, the spill-free way to cook, drain, and serve perfect pasta. Pasta Pro is lightweight, fits any stovetop, and drains the water, not your pasta. Watch, just place in your favorite pasta. When it's ready, turn the lid to the locking position. Then easily pour the water out and keep the pasta in. It's that easy. Now you can cook, drain, and serve mountains of spaghetti all in one saucepan. Quickly prepare tasty macaroni and cheese for the kids. Or create a delicious linguine with clam dinner with no extra dishes. 
Mazda Pro's unique locking lid assures you of a safe and steady pour. It's so dependable, not even a heavy sack of potatoes can remove the top. Hey, that strainer can ruin your ravioli. But not Pasta Pro. It's perfect for delicate cheese tortellini, stuffed spinach ravioli, or bow tie pasta. And watch this, brown sirloin beef. Then easily drain the fat. Add your special ingredients, and you've got a pot of hot chili without the mess. Pasta Pro is ideal for boiling corn on the cob, fresh boiled lobster. You can even cook, drain, mix, and serve mashed potatoes all in one saucepan. And with a durable non-stick surface, clean up's a breeze. Stop juggling with plates and strainers. Order the Pasta Pro Cooker with the quick and easy recipe guide for just $19.95. But wait, there's more. We'll include this amazing cheese grater. Coarse great Parmesan cheese with ease. Shred mountains of mozzarella on a pizza. Or finely great chocolate for dessert toppings. Yours free. And if you're still not convinced, we'll include another Pasta Pro Cooker free. Prepare eggs for egg salad sandwiches or pasta for two. Yours absolutely free. This incredible $60 value is all yours for just $19.95. So call now. Call 1-800-541-8555 and order the Pasta Pro for just $19.95. This incredible offer won't last, so call 1-800-541-8555. Order now. the kids next door. Code name Kids Next Door. Friday at 7 and 10 Eastern on Cartoon Network. Either you're in or you're old. Carl, you never asked if I had any New Year's resolutions. Yeah, I didn't. Fine, I guess I'll have to find somebody who gives a crap about my future. Like me, Brock? You talking dog? Of course. Now let's hear those resolutions. Okay. First, I gotta finish that macaroni sweater for Zorak. Shh, it's a surprise. And then discover that dogs can talk. But I already did that. That's it? Well, yeah, I'm only one person. Okay, good luck, Brock. Thanks, talking dog. Man, you're stupid. I like it. What is it? Oh, just a little Time Warner IP I found on the internet. Amazing what comes up when you search Show You Weenie. Um, <clears throat> yes, interesting. Oh, I'll burn your copy. It won't cost you much. R.I.A.A. R.I.A.A. Freeze, music pirate! Oh, all right, the music piracy. Hey, not in the face! Hit the deck! the man in the suit? Who is the cat with the beak? Do you really want to feel him? Harvey Attorney, habeas corpus, Harvey Attorney! Harvey Birdman, attorney at last! Peanut! We have a warrant for your arrest. Uh, all right, don't forget to read him his rights. I just learned that recently. <laughs> It'll never stick. Don't worry about me. I've got compadres on the inside. Oh, you do what you can to raise them to be good kids. You never imagined they'd get involved in... in... What's he being charged with exactly? Ka ka ka! Ka ka ka! Oh, right. Copyright infringement. You! You did this! What? What? What did I do? I'm not sure. Yet. Oh, nice. You have about as much respect for the law as our current administration. Perfect! I'm sure I can come up with something. I hear your young ward has been arrested. How unsurprising. Now, what do you know about it? He's been charged with copyright violation. Sound familiar? 
We're very careful here to get the proper paperwork filled out in triplicate before we duplicate anything that might be under copyright. After all, that's the law. <sighs> I'm sorry. Were you saying something? You don't need to be here. The peanut has it all under control. But you're in jail. Innocently accused of a crime you didn't commit. You'll get eaten alive in here. Interesting. Oh, laundry's done? Great. Yeah, if you could just roll up the tights. No, no, not folded. Yeah, put them on my cot. <clears throat> so who's the firm sending to defend me? Potamus? Phil? Sure thing. Sure. Seriously, though, I want a good lawyer. I can afford the best. On what I pay you? I've made some good investments. I'll take the case. N no, I meant no. Nothing personal. Well, okay, of course it's personal, uh, but... Peanut? I'm supposed to be defending... Wait a minute. Me? What are you? I mean, me? I... I mean, I... Whatever. What are you slash I doing? Defending the innocent, of course. Your Honor, I'm supposed to be the defense here. It seems to me you are. Perfect. What's there to complain about? But... Harvey Birdman, too, Your Honor. Oh, ho, ho. this is too rich. Beardless Birdman. How would you like to proceed? I hear if you love something, you have to set it free. Um, yeah, go with that. So be it. Boop. But if he's the defender, then who's the prosecutor? Let's see. Where, oh, where could I find another attorney at such short notice? Where, 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 where? Oh, yes. You. You. But... Ooh. I'll take the case. Excellent. Evil twins facing off against one another for the soul of their young sidekick. Tell me that's not a hackneyed video game idea! Birdless Beard Man, call your first witness. I call Peanut. You can plead the fifth. Fifth, <laughs> sixth, whatever. However you'll go easy on me, won't you, big guy? Peanut, have you ever violated the copyright laws of the U.S. government? Um, define violate? Just tell us what you were doing when the RIAA arrested you this morning. Well, I was working in your office. It was just an ordinary day. I was playing a song from an adult animated cartoon on your computer. You seemed to enjoy it. When you asked me for a copy, the RIAA knocked down the door and hauled me away. I've never made illegal copies of copywritten material. I have far too much respect for artists. What about that clip you played for me? A gift from a friend? You know all about friends, right, Harvey? Friends don't prosecute you. I don't own any illegal copies of any songs that I know of. Then how do you explain this? I have never seen that. What is that? I've never seen that before in my whole life. I found this in your fanny... perk at the birdcage. Planet? See, that's not even my name on that ID. It says Mr. Johnson. Can I revise my testimony? Sorry, hate to break up the breathtaking testimony that you have going on here, but I have this, uh, it's a thing that is, is a scheduling. It was from a long, it's, I'm actually very bored and I just want to leave. Adjourned! Until tomorrow! The name is Birdman, Harvey Birdman, number two. How can I help you? Where's Peanut? What have you done with him? He's in his office. And why would you care anyway? You just spent the last day trying to find him guilty. I was just doing my... He has his own office? Wait! How did you get him out of jail? A simple writ of habeas corpus? Habeas what is? What are you trying to pull? And will somebody tell me what the RIAA is? Who's in charge here? Bill Ken Seven, of course. Phil's brother? And your boss-to-be. At least until the right-sizing. What? What's more redundant than a double? Who says the doubles are better? Pardon me. I hope I'm not disturbing anything. Not at all. Good, good. Just making sure that you receive the items I sent to you. Ah, yes, thank you. There'll be a huge help in filing my injunction tomorrow. I am so screwed. Uh, do you validate? GG2 can take care of that for you. <laughs> Come here, Harry. <laughs> I 
are we still on for dinner tonight, darling? Look Can I help you? Uh, I'd like to speak to the deadly duplicator, please. You mean Eliot? Right. Just between one Birdman and another. Eliot, someone's here to see you. It's Elliot. Everyone knows it is two L's and two T's. What do you want? We already have a Birdman of our own, thanks. Hmm. I got a Franklin Roosevelt here that says you want to tell me. You can buy something nice, like binoculars, a bicycle, or perhaps a biplane. Fine! Give it! Seriously, Birdman, this is little more than simple logic. The copies are always inferior. A piece of hair or a smudge gets on the lens, and you have a serious mess on your hands. This Birdman copy probably won't hold up under stress. I knew it. Now I just need to break him in court. All right, let's get this over with. Birdman, call your first witness. But, Your Honor... I hope you're not trying to suggest that I can't be a fair and impartial jury, Birdman. I object. Overruled. Wow, it's like living in THX. For my first witness, I call myself. Well, the self who works for 7 and 7 too. Don't you mean Peanut? It's his turn, his call. Come on down! Tell us what you know about copies. Copies are just as good as the originals. If it wasn't for my beard, you couldn't tell us apart. Since when does being first mean you get to control everything? Are we in grade school? Is it fair for the person who holds the rights to the original to completely control the copy? Shouldn't the copy have some rights? Digital rights management is the crime. It keeps people from using their originals in the ways they would prefer. Not when they are $100 a piece. You are property, manufactured and sold. So who owns me? The person that paid for my cloning or the person that made me? Let us see. I now call the deadly duplicator to the stage. What do you want with me? Just tell the court what you've been up to. I'm undergoing an anger management course to help me channel my negative feelings into positive channels. I single-handedly made a number of copies of Harvey Birdman. Your opponent, the people in the jury yesterday, and even my assistant in the copy shop. My copies are nearly perfect. Few people can tell them from the originals. I strictly obey copyright laws when there are any to obey. We can't work with lawlessness. Then how do you explain this? It's a crest. So? It's a useless crest. It should be the source of superhero powers. And your point is? Your copies don't have any powers. Prove it. Taste the glowing end of justice. Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I'd like to request another attorney. Where can I find another attorney on such short notice? Oh, yes! Birdman! I'll take the case! I think. You do that. But the court is only required to provide defense attorneys. So without a prosecutor, it looks like you win this one. Case dismissed. Woo. Does this mean I won? Isn't that what I just said? So, is that a yes? Yes. Yes! So, what the hell just happened back there? Did I win? More like you failed to lose. <laughs> All part of my master plan. Anyway, it's good to have you back, Peanut. I just hope you learned your lesson about copying music. Yeah. If you're going to illegally download music, make sure you use someone else's computer. Ah! Listen up. You're watching Adult Swim's New Year's Eve Bash. Behind your closet door is a world of monsters you've never seen. Roz, you're looking fabulous today. Is that a new haircut? You've had a lift. You've had a touch. No! A danger no! you'd never believe. There's a kid here! A human kid! And two heroes you'd never expect. I have a plan. I lied. 
From the creators of Toy Story, Billy Crystal, John Goodman. Blame it on the little guy with his one eye. Monsters Incorporated. Order it now on pay-per-view. Hey, you. And how many cookies for Santa? Twenty. Holiday time is a great time to make Nestle Toll House cookies. I'm making a gooey one for Rudolph. Stir. There you go. This one is for Cena. Good job. Stir them up. See, if we make lots of cookies, maybe Santa will give us lots of presents. The very <laughs> best times begin with America's favorite rich and creamy morsel, Nestle Toll House. Bake the very best. That's my girl. Some try to surf. Others know how to surf. But few can solar surf. From the movie screen to your PlayStation 2, now you can blast pirates and set sail on an intergalactic treasure hunt in Disney's Treasure Planet. Rated E for everyone. Strongly cautioned. The following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. Welcome back to the bash, everybody! And man, what a party! All right, here we go. That's it. That's it, yeah. Don't be afraid of the tongue, ladies, you know what I mean? You're making me uncomfortable. Oh, man. They're gonna do it right here in the street. Look at what that. What are they gonna do? It's like a freaking orgy down there. Look at that chick. Oh, oh baby. I think that's a man. Turn around, baby. It's a man. She's, she's gonna do it. No. Turn around, baby. What? Who's running the camera here? We were oh, so man. close to that. I wanted to see the man's chest. Cybermaster, you stop the truck, I'll get the crooks. Let's go! You have to reboot him. Re uh, there's no time for that! Come on, politically correct person! Those criminals need to be taught a lesson. That's right, Sergeant Nitro. We'll enroll them in trade school. If our education system hadn't failed these boys, they wouldn't be forced into a life of crime. In a sense, aren't we all guilty? Yeah, what do you mean you're out of golf pants? My shipment mysteriously disappeared. Right, and last month the small size underwear was mysteriously mismarked extra large. Lives were lost, Roy. That is a tragedy I will have to live with every day for the rest of my life. Okay, inventory snafus, irate customers. You need a computer. I don't like computers. It's an essential tool for today's small business. How's this one? Obsolete and nearing the end of its life cycle, much like yourself, sir. Is this one obsolete? No, not for the next several minutes. Okay, now it's obsolete. Uh, sir, uh, the bank informs me you have no money and that I need to cut up your credit card and your wallet. That's impossible. I'm on a union pension. I get a check every month like clockwork. There must be some mistake. Uh, 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 wait! You don't actually pay for computers, they're free! As long as you sign up for $4,800 of internet service! The Union of Superheroes. My life's greatest achievement. A noble legacy passed down to a new generation of crime fighters. Now let's see. Regarding pension fund, dear superhero retirees, your years of service, blah blah blah, gratitude, blah blah blah, pension fund is bankrupt. Bankrupt! 
I'll be in the changing room, Victor. The regular changing room with a special changing room that nobody can go into except you. That one. I'm Captain Sturdy. Roy told me to tell you he's still in the changing room. You want me to take in those tights a little? I won't be needing them after today. They'll be done by Thursday. I said, I won't be needing them after today. Welcome, Captain Sturdy. You're old. Please excuse Cerebro. He has the highest IQ in the known universe. But he has skipped grades and lacks social skills. I thought you were in the shop. His nephew shoved a video game cartridge in his programming module. It's stuck. The problem is under control. About my pension. The union has changed since your day. But does the flame of justice and right still burn brightly in your hearts? Yes, and we have valet parking. We've also got a superhero trainee program. Drop your weapon and put your hands up. What if you said that and the bank robber had no arms? How would that make you feel? Bad and ashamed. So? Drop your weapon and explain why you feel you must take from others who would love you if only you gave them a chance. That's much more sense. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. A fresh juice bar? Costume consultant? What have you done? What happened to fighting crime because it was right? Do you know how hard it is to attract bright young superhero talent in a tight labor market? Today, it's all about pearls. Look, forget it. All I care about now is the pension fund. Correction, you mean the new building fund. I don't need a new building. I need a pension. I'm a retiree. Well, not technically. We raise the retirement age to 70. You don't get a pension anymore. For 40 years, I've fought criminals and evil geniuses. I threw so many boulders at asteroids hurtling towards Earth, I've got constant stiffness in my shoulder. I never complained. Now all I want... ...is to be back in action! Ultra Boy. Your old sidekick, unretired. Now we can hunt down left-leaning red sympathizers just like the old days. Attention, citizens of Central City. Gee wizards, Captain Sturdy, it's mine. My orbiting death ray is now pointing at your population. You have exactly 24 hours to surrender, or you will all be destroyed. You know, maybe you don't do things the way we did in the old days, and... Maybe that's none of my business anymore. But now a crisis threatens our city. I'm too old and too tired to fight. But you aren't. You're superheroes. And you know what to do. Captain Sturdy's right. Let's form some yes. committees. Yes. 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 Let's hire an outside consultant. Yes. 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 And let's do a feasibility study. Yes. I know. Let's get a court injunction. Yes. Let's negotiate a lucrative book deal! Yeah! Let's table the issue until next meeting! So, proposal one, we blow up half the city as a good faith gesture while continuing negotiations. Or, proposal two, we explore non-violent alternatives including boycotts and a petition drive. Shoulder. It's up to me now. We'd like to run a couple of rough ideas past you. Okay, shoot. I mean me, not you. I think I'm going to be needing these after all. They'll be done by Thursday. Adult Swim's New Year's Eve batch will be right back. 
Now you can go fast and still get to everything you want. Introducing AOL Broadband 8.0. Great speed, original content, all in one place. Your favorite music, the latest movie clips, the hottest games. You're instantly connected to your favorite AOL features and can use all your screen names at one time. Call 1-800-860-8969 and get two months free service, free installation, and a modem to use. New AOL Broadband 8.0. Everything you want instantly. We all realized rapidly that we were going on a journey that we were so privileged to be doing. Well, if you want to know the story, you could read the books. <laughs> Ian McKellen, Inside the Actor's Studio, hosted by James Lipton. Questions and actors. Be sure to see Inside the Actor's Studio on Bravo. Time Warner Cable. Now anything's possible. If you want to play with basketball pros as kids, you can find them in your backyard. Backyard basketball for your computer. Games sold separately, rated everyone. Laser Doodle is here. It's great to create with color and light. Draw from your imagination, then customize your creation. You can laser stamp it, laser flash it. Your ideas will light up the screen. New Laser Doodle. Batteries not included from DSi Toys. Mary Kay and Ashley land the job of a lifetime. We're interns, mayoral interns. In beautiful Rome. Welcome to Roma. You can join Mary Kate and Ashley as they discover history, romance, and the world of high fashion Ciao. in their new movie, When in Rome. Rated G. Available now on DVD and video. Hi, Mary Beth Hoyt here for the Handy Stitch, the sewing solution for today that makes sewing fun, fast, and easy. The Handy Stitch uses the latest micro technology and actually fits in the palm of your hand. It does the jobs that conventional sewing machines can't, so you can sew anything, anywhere, at any time. It has the precision of a small machine to repair delicate fabrics like silk. It has the power of a big machine to sew through tough fabrics like denim. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, the Handy Stitch is for you. You can even do repairs while wearing your clothes. Repair a pocket without taking your pants off. Fix a fallen hem in the office in no time. Even use it for patching up outdoors. It's quick around corners and can add a decorative touch to all sorts of fabrics. You would never be able to sew draperies with a regular machine. The Handy Stitch is a portable sewing solution that makes life a little easier. It lets you put the professional touch on your home decorations and will pay for itself over and over. It gives you that genuine chain stitch, which means you get a secure, strong, and even stitch every time. It's battery powered or AC adaptable, so you can sew any fabric anywhere, anytime. Because of its compact size, it travels with you. The Handy Stitch can even be used outside to repair a flag or fix an awning. Regular machines are bulky and can cost over $500. Call now and you'll get the Handy Stitch complete with four threaded extra wide metal spools, the needle threader, and an extra spool pin for regular size thread. A $40 value for just $14.99. But call in the next five minutes and we'll also include this giant 64-piece thread and bobbin collection so you'll always have the right colored thread for any job. A $20 value, yours free. That means you get everything. The Handy Handy Stitch, all the accessories, and the 64-piece thread and bobbin collection, an incredible $60 value, all for just $14.99. So call this number right now. Here's how to order. To order Handy Stitch, call 1-800-763-6464. That's 1-800-763-6464. You must be 18 or older to call. Call 1-800-763-6464. How about that honeymoon? Dude, it's a game. The Sims Online. Rated T for teen. Brace yourself. The Sims are real. Call me. EA yeah, yeah. Games. Challenge everything. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, Strolling through bikini bottom, SpongeBob SquarePants freeze the flying Dutchman. Help SpongeBob save the day. It's the SpongeBob SquarePants video game. The greatest warrior the world has ever known raises his sword again to crush the minions of evil. Samurai Jack. The legend continues. Weeknights at 10 on Cartoon Network. Now back to Adult Swim's New Year's Eve bash.
like for me to have some of this jello salad from your refrigerator? Yes, yes, help yourselves. Wait a minute, I don't remember any. My god, that isn't jello salad, it's the shrunken city of Maldor. You didn't eat any, did you? Um, no. Golly, Captain Sturdy, you keep an actual shrunken city in your refrigerator? Yes, yes, the Tupperware is very clearly marked. The citizens of Maldor were victims of my old archenemy, Dr. Destructo. I swore that I would protect them until I found a way to return them to their normal size. Well, they're still fresh. What? I said, I can't believe I'm finally here at your super secret citadel of inaccessibility where you go to be by yourself and do experiments and stuff. After all these years. And do you remember what we talked about? Um... Come on now, think. What's the main rule of visiting Captain Sturdy's Citadel of Inaccessibility? Put that down, you idiot! That's the one! Holy smokes! What's that thing? That's a magazine. Who would invent such a horrible thing, Captain Sturdy? I'm sure not gonna touch one of those! There's no possible way you can cause any serious damage with this, Ultra Boy. Hmm. This month we release our annual survey of worst cities in the world to live in. Number one, Maldor. Number two, Hey, it's Central City! Central City? This is a travesty. According to this survey, crime in our fair city is out of control. The Union must take action. There's someone behind this. Someone evil. And Captain Sturdy knows who it is. I do? Who? I think you know. No, I don't. He's an old enemy of ours, Captain. Of course. It's Moid! No. No, that's not who I was thinking. Fogman? No. Leech? No. Nope. That other alien? What was that fellow's name? The, the, the big stinger? Not him. Wait. Could it be? One of the most ruthless criminal geniuses the universe has ever known! Nikita Khrushchev! Yes, Nikita... No. Dr. Destructo! My friends, today, the Union of Superheroes faces its greatest test. Our arch-nemesis has returned. Dr. Destructo, a warped scientific genius whose horrifying inventions include the sinister zombie ray, the hyper-quantum annihilator, and new age music. Now, he's organized an army of depraved criminals to overrun us. The streets of Central City will run red with your blood. But will that stop you? No, because you're superheroes. Now, who's got a plan? Boy, Captain Sturdy, I didn't know you meant a plan for running away as fast as we can. We're not running, Ultra Boy, but we can't defeat Dr. Destructo alone. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll bet he's never had to face one of these before. It's okay, I got more. We need help. We need the originals. Here they are, Ultra Boy, the original founding members of the Superheroes Union. Elastic Man, Velocity Man, Commander Guts, Captain Sturdy, and Kronos, Master of Space and Time! Yes. Decades ago, we defeated Dr. Destructo together. Today, they are our only hope. We must find them. Captain Sturdy, away! Don't play with the windows. According to the Union records, this is the place, Captain Sturdy. Coming! Prepare to meet the fastest being in the universe, Ultra Boy. Velocity Man. He could vibrate his body so fast that it created hurricane force winds. I didn't know that. Maybe he's not home. No. I heard him. Try knocking. I'm coming! Hold your horses! I'm looking for Velocity Man. Let me put on my costume. Well, old friend, our worst fears have been realized. Dr. Destructo is back. Slow down! You're driving like a maniac! Uh, don't take this the wrong way, Velocity Man. Break! Break! But I couldn't help noticing your walker. I can do Mach 3! I just fall a lot. Consider the matter closed. Next stop, Elastic Man. The man could snap on you like a rubber band. Hurt like hell. Elastic Man. Captain Sturdy? Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, Captain Sturdy. <laughs> Let me get that. Oh, heck. Honey! Brianna! I need a little help out here! Pinky! Oh. You put Daddy's foot back right this instant! <laughs> Fellas, you remember Commander Guts? Since the operation, I go by Brianna. 
Well, I guess that was the first time I was able to admit to myself that I was denying the feminine side of my being. Yes. Now, about Dr. Destructo, we'll need... Look out! <laughs> Wowie, Captain Sturdy! You almost hit a man from the Bible! No, Ultra Boy! It's Kronos! Master of space and time! Because of a bizarre lab accident, Kronos exists three and a half minutes into the future. I thought it was three and a half minutes into the past! No, the future. For example, if I had run over him with the car, it would have already happened. That's how I know I didn't. <laughs> well, I was going to say let's go pick him up, but apparently we already did. Or we were going to... Kronos! Ultra Boy! What? I know who you are. I was talking to the boy. Who? Kronos, it's me, Captain Sturdy. Dr. Destructo? Are you sure? He thinks you're Dr. Destructo. No, he's talking three and a half minutes ago. How are you feeling? Superheroes, can we please get organized? I'm sorry I pounded you with my staff of time, but next time, watch where you're driving. Pounded who, old friend? No! Brianna, my finger is gone. Well, where did you see it last? We must find Dr. Destructo. Dr. Destructo's got Captain Sturdy. We've got to save him. Did you take your medicine today? <laughs> Captain Sturdy? Doctor... Destructo? Honey, this is the superhero who exiled Grandpa to the 12th dimensional prison planet. Happy? Oh, I'm very happy living here with my daughter and son-in-law. See, I'm making some bookshelves. A, a bird feeder, plasma flux destructor beam, and... A, a what? It's for my grandson. When he's older. So, you're not behind the Central City crime wave? Me? No, I only had one goal, Captain Sturdy, remember? Total world domination! And I failed. I'm a failure. No, don't say that. What about 1991? I distinctly remember you dominated. Sure, but only a part of the world. Just a couple of remote pastures in a used car dealership. I finally took an early retirement and, well, here I am. But, Dr. Destructo, what about your brotherhood of evil? Absorbed by the Teamsters. You were the most vile collection of pitiless sociopathic maniacs I've ever encountered in my life. And I mean that in a good way. Really? Yes, really. You know the shrunken city of Maldor? I've still got it in my refrigerator. Now you're just trying to make me feel better. I'm not. I was prepared for an epic battle today. With me? Do you see another evil scientific genius in the room? I even brought your arch enemies, the originals. Those rascals. What are they up to? Don't worry, Captain Sturdy. We'll save you. No, wait. <laughs> Attack! Uh-oh. Well, I couldn't be more embarrassed. Why? Until you and those incompetents attacked me, I never realized how miserable I was in retirement. You've given me a great gift, Captain Sturdy. Your positive attitude should be a lesson to us all. Yes. Thanks to you, I'm rededicating my life to crime and evil. I will destroy you and every other superhero. Guess what, Captain Sturdy? I read this magazine wrong. It didn't say the crime rate was out of control in Central City. It said the tax rates were out of control. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> There's no possible way you can cause any serious damage with this, Ultra Boy. Well, Ultra Boy, no harm done. <laughs>
In 2003, Adult Swim's got Futurama, so, uh, you know, lift your head out of the toilet, jackass, and watch it. Dr. Zoidberg, this is Fry, the new delivery boy. He needs a physical. Excellent, excellent. You'll be fine. Now open your mouth and let's have a look at that brain. No, 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 not that mouth. I only have one. Really? Uh, is there a human doctor around? Young lady, I'm an expert on humans. Now pick a mouth, open it and say... <coughs> what? My mother was a saint! Get out! Adult Swim's New Year's Eve bash will be right back. Direct TV presents a free view event starring guitar legend Eric Clapton. Recorded live on his recent world tour. I can change the world. Tune in to watch the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer perform hits spanning his entire career. Eric Clapton in concert, playing every day in December on Channel 103, a Direct TV preview event. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Staying home with Direct TV, so delightful. Isn't that how the song goes? Uh, no. Join us for this month's Direct TV customer news because we've got tips on relieving the stress of holidays, free concerts, and helpful hints about your Direct TV system. And there's a pop quiz for you, Matt. Oh, and hey, don't forget about our inside look at Direct TV the Guy. Tune into Channel 201 anytime this month and join us for Direct TV customer news. See you there. Now on DVD and video. Stuart! Hold on tight. Watch out! Stuart Little is back and ready for action. I'm going in! Stuart Little 2. It's an adventure. Now available on DVD and video rated PG. Hi! Me too. Sarah, you remember Ben? Oh, I got something fun. We have cute little shapes. Well, I do. Cookies. Would you like to make chocolate chip or sugar? Sugar, please. I got shapes on Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. I got snowmen on mine. I got stuff on so bye. Can I have one of yours? Sure. New holiday cookies with shapes from Nestle Toll House. <laughs> and sugar and chocolate chip. We did good. <laughs> New from Nestle Toll House. Bake the very best. Return to Hogwarts. It's time to prove yourself, to avoid peril, and realize your skill. You have the magic. Summon your talent, defeat your foes, and be Harry Potter in the video game Harry Potter at the Chamber of Secrets. Rated E for everyone. EA Games. Challenge everything. This holiday season, you can take some time out. I definitely need to remember that one. And you can return to Hogwarts for the holidays. An excellent suggestion! Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Rated PG. Now playing. This holiday season... Stampede! Something untamed. <laughs> something unbelievable. I can talk to animals. My butt's gone to sleep. And something... <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> There's no sister. Talk Please. like a monkey, dress like a gig. Yeah, you get used to it. Is that a theater near you? You will have your own challenges. The Wild Thornberries movie. Oh, that is so wrong. Rated PG. Now playing in theaters everywhere. I usually don't ski the Northeast. The mountains are so tiny. So I really haven't had much time for skiing lately. What with making Varner down on Wall Street and constantly jetting off to Milan to be with my supermodel girlfriend. Ever ski Chamonix? Shed. Shed? No, I haven't skied Shed. Is that the Italian Alps? Oh, I love the Italian Alps. Looking for an even more satisfying crunch? Grab a Snickers Cruncher. Peanuts, caramel, chocolate, and crunchy. You know, I was in the ski patrol in France. Snickers Cruncher. Beyond crunchy. Introducing all new America Online 8.0. We listened to you and designed AOL 8.0 with hundreds of exciting new features. Welcome. New AOL email sort gets you to important mail faster. New AOL call alert lets you be online and never miss important phone calls. Choose a welcome screen tailored to your interests. There are hundreds of new features to easily connect you to the people and things you care about most. New America Online 8.0. Call 1-800-4-ONLINE or get a free startup disk at these locations. 
Evil threatens all Eternia. Once I have Grayskull's secrets, Eternia will be mine. A small band of warriors have taken the call to arms. You and your friends don't stand a chance. Destroy them! They have but one hope. The strongest man in the universe. I have a hope! Every weekday at 5. And catch a world premiere Fridays at 5. I will be at your side. Big guys with swords. Attention swimmers! Cartoon Network has an adult swim. My diaper is loaded with secrets, Poop Off. Your simple Russian brain will never wipe away the sweet smell of freedom. Oh, someone frying bacon. Not Captain Hazel Murphy. <laughs> By the way, thanks for leaving me back there with those alien guys. I mean, you know how I love getting stepped on. All kids out of the pool. Adult Swim next Sunday at 10 on Cartoon Network. Man, what a party! Hey, Carl, what did you do last New Year's Eve? Oh, I don't, you know, think I should get into all the raunchy details, you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, Carl, you're so scandalous! Let's just say it was a typical night. I showed up and uh, I couldn't scrape the chicks off me with a, uh, you know, one of them scrapers. Man, it's like you're some sort of magnet. Oh, yeah, I was fighting them off. Where are the freaking hookers? Then what happened? Brack, please. All right, I'm a gentleman. Two gunfighters, Slim and Tommy Morgan, faced off in the street in little old dusty saddle rash. Still gives me goosebumps when I talk about it. The morning Slim rode into town, I remember like it was yesterday. My name is Gummy. I was there the day Slim walked into the barber shop and asked for... What did he ask for? How about a shave? Was it directions? No. Was a restaurant recommendation? No. Something about a horse. How'd you lose your arms? In the war? Nope. Oh. What, are two grizzly bears, one on either side? No. Did you sleep on them wrong? Where can a fella get a drink around here? Well, uh, we got a lot of choices here. Over there, that there's Buffalo Burt's Hotel and Casino. Huh? D don't you know Buffalo Burt's second most famous hunter in the West? He killed the last of the buffalo. There's one. One what? A buffalo. What are you, drunk? That ain't no buffalo. That's Inez. Hey, Inez. Well, she's new in town. Yeah. I don't know the other fella. What about Tommy Morgan? Which saloon does he go to? Tommy Morgan. Crappy Joe's, I suppose, but I, I haven't seen him in town for a long time. Not since the reward went up to a thousand dollars. Well then, I'll tell you what, old smelly man. Mm -hmm. How about I buy you a drink at Crappy Joe's? Well, uh... Okay, but just one. Yeah, just one. Don't get silly on me. You buy. That's uh, what I said. Oh, you just say that. That's right. I need to get one of those things for my ears. You know? Soap. Crappy Joe's Saloon. It used to be a real dive, but when Crappy Joe bought the place, he did a great job renovating it. He really put a lot of thought into things like lighting and music. Okay, it's piano time. Feng Shui. A lot of mirrors. Bottle of something. Two glasses. That'll be two bits. Uh, bits? Two bits. Bits? Bits of... Uh, half a buck? Oh, 50 cents! 50 cents! 50 cents, uh, 50 cents. So you have to Tommy Morgan, are you?
He's, uh, I hear he's hiding up in the hills, you know. I, I think the only time he comes to town these days is when the new Sears catalog comes out. Want a straw? No, thanks. It's getting real loud. Bumming everyone out. Well, we used to see you. Well, yeah, you, I'll, I'll wait till you finish up. We used to see you more often, but I guess the price on your head will make you a little less inclined toward city living and fine <coughs> dining. I gotta be honest, stranger. You are making me ill. So you're looking to make yourself a thousand dollars, are you? I don't care about the reward. Oh, no, of course not. Why would you? It's just money. You don't need that, do you? Nobody does. And you may have no arms, but you got some tongue. That is the most beautiful human organ I have ever seen. Tommy Morgan's hideout was way the hell up in the hills. And if you know anything about Tommy Morgan, you know he hated the hills and he hated hiding out. No restaurants, no shopping, no nothing. Just come with us, Tommy. No. Come on. No. You said yourself you're sick of being holed up. So? So come on into town. No. At least come outside. No. Well, we're gonna go into town. What are you guys gonna do? I don't know. Get drunk, pick a fight, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's... What do you want to do? Nothing, nothing. I'm not going. Fine. Fine. Don't go. I won't. I tell you, of all the gangs we've ridden with, this one is the hardest to motivate. I know, man. You know who's it's Morgan. Morgan. Yep. He's all pissy because now every time he leaves the hideout, someone's trying to turn him in or kill him. You know that thing we were doing the other day where one person starts a story and the next guy writes a part and hands it around? Oh, yeah. yeah, what was the name of that game? I told you I don't know the name of that. You asked me that when we were playing. I told you I don't know. You have to have a name, it man. Doesn't, it's a we, game. I just say the game. You know the game. We know how to play. It doesn't matter. That well, let's name it now. It, the story game. Pass all the right. story. Change the story, story game. Story pass. Anyway, that was fun. It was. Mm -hmm. And it he was. didn't want to do it. It's true. He refused. It's outlaw stuff, man. Sometimes you got to do it. Yeah. There's downtime. Yeah. Just hurry up and wait. Yeah. I mean, when you look at wanted, dead, or alive, you can't just see wanted, dead. No, no. You have to see or alive, too. You are so right. I knew those boys were trouble. The greatest penalty of evil doing, namely to grow into the likeness of evil men. That's Plato. He's Greek. What the hell is going on here? I don't know, but it's pretty funny. What are you, buddy? A gun rack? <laughs> now, would you say this fellow is armed? I would. And yet? And yet, he is not armed. Unarmed. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Gunslinger, you gotta agree. It's funny stuff. Oh, look at him. He's trying to think of a comeback. What's he gonna do? Hey, why don't you make fun of our arms? <laughs> yeah, what are you looking at? Our freakish arms? I've got a message for you. Whoa, he speaks. <laughs> what? I said, I've got a message for you. What's the message? It's under my hat. I don't see where this is going. Lift up my hat. That was a neat trick. I've got a message for you too. Oh really? Let me guess. It's under your hat. No, uh, it's in my boot actually. You gotta be kidding me. Mm, no. No, it's, uh, it's right here in my boot. So how's this work? I reach for your boot, mm -hmm. and then you kick me in the head. Close. In the crotch. You just better be able to kick me before you... Hello. Nice work. Here's one to your crotch. Oh! Tell Tommy Morgan I want to see him. That was about the most amazing thing I ever seen. He kicked like a ballerina. A really violent ballerina. You know, like a one that will kill you. I heard the guy's nose break and I was two doors down. Now I feel worse for the other guy. My wife kicked me in the crotch once. 
Do you mean your mule? Yeah. What did I say? You said your wife. Did I really? You've been doing that a lot lately. Uh, well, I've been around the mule a lot lately. <laughs> hey, I'll see if uh, I can get Slim to come over to your shop a little later. Uh, I'd like to sell him some boots. Is that his name? Well, that's what I call him. What are you doing, arranging the schedule? Yeah, you know, every time a stranger rides into town, you are not automatically the personal secretary. Oh, boy, here we go again. Man, I hate you guys. Yeah, I do. Whoops. Whoops. No, no, I said, uh, whoops. I said, whoops. Why? Because it's Yiddish for, um, congratulations. The barber shop was a good place for witty banter. Not the best place to get your hair cut. And it wasn't really a good place for witty banter either. Oh, that looks much better. Ah. Oh. Oh, hold on. Yes, yes, yes. That's better. Oh, I thought we did this last night. I was so drunk last night, I can't believe you let me near that thing. Oh, man, I did. No, no, ow, ow, no, 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 enough, enough. Come on, let's go get this guy. What about you, Tasty Cleese? You coming? Mm -hmm. All right, well, don't worry. We'll send him your regards. You coming, Tommy? No, you guys go ahead. Come on, it'll be fun. No, I don't feel like it. Do you want us to bring you back anything? Nah. What are you going to eat for dinner? Oh, no, I'll find something. Can I bring you back some fruit or something? No. Okay, okay. I'm going to bring you back a melon. Honeydew or cantaloupe? Honeydew. Anna Headstrong. The headstrong daughter of Hank Headstrong, the headstrong rancher. Hannah grew up tending to the cuts and bruises of the men that worked on her father's ranch. You've never seen so many self-inflicted cuts and bruises. It was like an epidemic, but fake. Look, Hannah, I grabbed the wrong end of the branding iron last week. These two fingers are fused together. That's nothing, Hannah. Hannah, look at this. Me and my brother got drunk and got into a, a branding fight. Lemon juice will get these off, maybe, right? Don't pay them no mind, Anna. They're just showing off. I actually need your advice. You think this is infected? Ugh. Hi, Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hey, fellas. So, what can I do for you today? I need some balm. Some what? Some balm. Oh, balm. Which, uh, which one? Cellar Secret. Oh, that's Settler's Secret. That's good stuff, Hannah. You got to be careful where you put that, though. Stings. Oh, no. What's going on? They're here for the gunfighter with no arms. Oh, no, he, he's over there right now. What are you guys talking about? I said the outlaws are here for the gunfighter with no arms. There's a gunfighter in town, and he has no arms. That's the story. <laughs> Hey, what the hell? Slim had that big fella in a figure four leg lock. Tell Tommy Morgan I'd like to see him. Please. It was so perfect, it was almost erotic. Hannah fell in love with him right then and there, I think. That's the power of that particular move, the figure four. Mr. Slim. Ma'am? What are you doing out here? Oh, just having some quiet time with my horse. Fine. The whole situation was becoming really complex. And that's the thing I say when I stop paying attention. But I'm, you know, the narrator, checking in. I have to say, it was around this time that we noticed Buffalo Bert starting to act really strange. Especially around Inez. We didn't know it at the time, but apparently, Inez had a bone to pick. And Buffalo Bert had bones. Did I say I was good at narrating? Yeah, they're not all gonna be winners. I'm just gonna get some clunkers. Thing is, there's just not a huge demand for narrators. Pretty much whoever volunteers. So you're not necessarily gonna get good. 
Sure, yeah, San Francisco, probably great narrators. Chicago, yeah, plenty to go around. Not here in Saddle Rash, only me. Adult Swim's New Year's Eve bash will be back, my friend. There's no store like ours anywhere. Wow, we got mountains of handmade quilts and they're only $29.95 twins. Queens are $39.95 and kings are $49.95. Never in your lifetime will you ever get a deal like this again. Al Greenwood's Bedspread Kingdom, one whole city block just loaded with bedspreads, comforters, and this big mountain of quilts in Long Beach. Hey, what's up? Tony Hawk? Imagine if the world's greatest skaters challenge you to do their biggest stunts. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 is the ultimate challenge. Are you ready to take it on? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, rated everyone. Time to get a move on. Race on a wave bike. Or a hoverboard with Otto, Reggie, Twister, and Sam. New rocket power, Beach Bandits video game. Rated everyone. Mary Kay and Ashley land the job of a lifetime. We're interns, mayor room interns. In beautiful Rome. Welcome to Roma. You can join Mary Kate and Ashley as they discover history, romance, and the world of high fashion Ciao. in their new movie, When in Rome. Rated G. Available now on DVD and video. Lockdown at Joyride Studios, where some of the hottest video game characters have been captured by Joyride for the purpose of making figures. We have some of gaming's coolest characters here. Right. Only the best get casted for reality. These are nicely detailed. Are there more? Oh yeah. We've only just begun. Check this out. Joyride Studios, where video game characters come to life. Figures and vehicles sold separately. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Life should always be this good. And now every moment can be with Mellow Rock. 32 Easy Rock classics on two CDs or two cassettes. You can't get this 32 track collection in any store. Feel the warmth of Mellow Rock with your favorite songs that sound perfect anytime, anywhere. We had it all. Touch. Order this collection online at musicspace.com. Let me take a look at you now. It just keeps getting better with Mellow Rock. To order, have your credit card ready and call the number on your screen or log on to musicspace.com. Rush delivery available. Attention swimmers, we've got an Aqua Team premiere. Boy, oh boy, I hope this is a new mommy. Yeah, it's not. I'm laughing at you, little creep. We gotta be at work in an hour. Premieres next Sunday at 11.15 on Adult Swim. Now back to Adult Swim's New Year's Eve pass. So he's up at the ranch eating steak and eggs every morning getting his strength back. Lucky bastard. I'd get beaten up and let them beat on me all day long if Anna Edstrong would be taking care of me later. Can you trim my nose hairs? Absolutely not. How do you figure he pulls them guns anyway? It can't be done. Well, maybe he got special bullets. For what? Special bullets. To shoot no-handed. Oh, here we go now. How the hell would special bullets help with that? Magic bullets. Oh, yes. I'm just saying. I'm trying to figure it out. You guys ain't. That lady needs a shave. Which end? I ain't shaving either end of it. Well, I, I, I think there's something sexy about it. Yeah, uh, looks like a boy with a dress on is what it does. Well, there's something sexy about that. I think, it, you know, there's something wrong, wrong with you, I think. That, well, I'm that, old. <laughs> I mean, what, what, you know, what, age, what's sexy about? There's something sexy about everything. I imagine so. You just take yeah. what you can get, right? Well, well, a little bit of hair ain't going to hurt no one. You may think you're fine, but you're not. Well, I am. All right, I'm completely healthy. You're not. You need at least another week, and I'd like to get some more balm on those cuts. Some what? Some balm. Some balm. Balm. 
I'm sorry, I've got to get back to town. Ow. Ow, what are you doing? I'm gonna knock you out so you can't go into town and get yourself killed. Ow, stop it. I should take a look at that. Goodbye, Hannah. Ow, damn it. Hannah? Lil Ville branded the inside of my lip. He told me to. Did not. You said brand my lip and you pulled your lip down. Well, I didn't think you'd do it. <sighs> she doesn't care. She don't care about you. Brand the inside of my lip again. I'll do it, by God. We had a few drinks when Slim came back to town. Okay. But the whole time I kept thinking that that guy in the poncho looked suspicious. Something about a guy in a poncho. It's trying too hard. Too kitschy. They know I'm guys back into town. Everyone's buying him drinks at Crappy Joe's. You want me and the boys to go get him? No. Oh, oh come on. I, I, I better do it myself. Yes. Can we go with you? No. Oh, oh, man. You know what they just got in down at the general store? Cashew nuts. What? Cashew nuts. A whole barrel full of them. All right, get the wagon. Yeah. So Slim. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad you're back on your feet and all, but uh Yeah. Well if Tommy Morgan comes looking for you, he he's gonna try and kill you. Yep. Well, I mean uh it, Slim, it, it'll be a gunfight. Probably. Yeah, so uh you'll have to draw against him. Reckon you're right. Yeah. Draw your guns. Right. And uh fire them. Correct. All right. Shoot the guns. You know, you got no arms. Say what? I say you got no arms. C'est vrai. C'est vrai. I know I'm stating the obvious. Yes. But, uh, you will definitely have to fire them guns. Fire the guns, yes. Hey, I yo. will have to fire the guns. So, if he asks you to lift up his hat, don't do it. Uh-huh, all right. Also, if he starts kicking. Get out of the way? Yeah, or, or shoot him or something. Hey, thank you. No messages. Huh? If he says anything about messages, disregard it. Yeah. Huh. Tommy Morgan just pulled into town. He put his wagon up at the store, his men are stealing cashew nuts, and he's walking this way. You look familiar. Do I know you? <laughs> you remember El Paso? Eight years ago? Hmm. I was there. You remember a kid working in the bank? A kid with the keys to the vault? Yeah. Do you remember what you did? Kid with keys. Not really. You shot him in the arms. Oh, yeah. 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 Well? Well what? <clears throat> that was me. You shot me in the arms. So I've, you know, come for revenge. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I did that. That's right. I mean, you have no arms because I shot... That is exactly uh, right. Yes, uh, I had arms. All right, yeah, You okay. shot me in the arms. Right, I got it now. Lost the arms. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't make the connection. But now, yeah. Wow. So what are we doing? This is, uh, really anticlimactic. We got Tommy Morgan and his gang. Who knew we had it in us? I guess we were in the moment. 
You know, adrenaline took over, and we went with it. And we got a thousand dollar reward. But you'd be surprised how little you see. Half goes to taxes, split four ways, I ended up with about 20 bucks. It was also not the last we would see a Tommy Morgan. And when he came back to town, boy, he was pissed off. I still look at that picture and I think, that was nuts. Hey, that, that was nice of the marshal to offer to shoot Tommy in the arms for you. Yeah, you should have let him. Seems like if you practice a little more, you'll, you'll get real good at gunfighting. Thanks, but uh, I don't think a guy like me will will ever make a good gunfighter. Wow. Yeah, because of your arms? No, my eyesight. You gonna stop by and see Hannah on your way out? No. No, I, uh, I can't. Why did you Strange do fella, Can that Slim. I was sorry to see him go. Forgot your gloves. I love to tell that story, My though. Yes. It has all the elements of sure? a classic good story. Uh, Gunfighter, no arms, that's a twist, uh, and a love story with a Jewish barber. Anyway, am I, did I just talk through a whole scene? Oh my goodness, Gummy, shut up. There he goes. Hey, Inez. Gonna be quiet in town with Slim gone, Tommy gone, Inez gone. It was quiet for a long time. Hey, how's it going? That, uh, Brack thing is, uh, down in the streets bugging the hell out of people or some crap like that. I'm getting a beer. Thanks, Carl. I'm on the streets of Times Square, lost in the crowd of party people. Let's talk to one of them. Hey, buddy, are you having a good time? <laughs> what? Oh, no! Oh, no! What's that coming out of your mouth? No! Oh! That's right, buddy. Free yourself of the demon. Boy, you sure like cashews. <laughs> This holiday, watch great stories on Hallmark Channel, and you could win great prizes, including a Dodge Viper convertible, a hundred grand in cash, or more. For your chance to win, watch Hallmark Channel every Saturday night through December 21st. The Hallmark Keepsake Sweepstakes. Pick up your game piece at Hallmark Gold Crown Stores or log on to ebay.com slash hallmark. Hi, I'm Samaki Walker, and I'm Devin George, the three-time world champion Los Angeles Lakers. Get your gear connected at Hip Hop Connections. Hip Hop Connection, your one stop for the hottest hip hop clothes like Sean John, Emiche, Rockaway, Academics, Vocal, Fat Farm, Baby Fat, Echo, Nike, Timberlands, throwback jerseys, and much, much more. With three locations to serve you in Paramount, Montebello, and Ladera. That's the Hip Hop Connection. Get connected. Learning your ABCs can be fun. All join in and sing with me. It's fun to learn your ABC. With the Time Life Kids presents Animal Alphabet, an irresistible new video for kids. Now your child can have fun learning their ABCs with the help of animal families from around the world. C -c 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 Now and we'll send you Animal Alphabet, 26 sing-along songs available on VHS or digitally mastered DVD. With easy to navigate menus for little ones to find their favorite letters. Oh, oh, orangutan. Oh, oh, orangutan. Looks a bit like a little old man. Oh, oh, orangutan. But that's not 
at all. Call in the next 10 minutes with your credit card order and we'll also send you animal numbers absolutely free. A second delightful video that teaches one, two, threes. One, baby kangaroo. Two, eyes looking. Three, bears in a family. Four, long legs. Give your child a fun and exciting way to learn their ABCs and one, two, threes. Two furry, fun-loving videos your child will want to watch again and again. If you and your family don't absolutely love these videos, simply return them, and Time Life will refund every penny of your purchase price. Oof. Call now. Use your credit card and call 1-800-441-2400 to order Animal Alphabet and Animal Numbers for just $19.99 on VHS or $24.99 on DVD plus shipping and handling. Or send check or money order to Animal Alphabet and Numbers, Department 1, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. Call now or order online at timelife.com. Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. Alright, we're now back to Adult Swim's New Year's Eve base. Excuse me, Carl, but by the way this party's been rocking, I'd call it a New Year's Eve bash and a half! Yeah, yeah, that made all the difference. Yeah, well... Half usually about does it. It's ripping time! That's the spirit. Let's rip them apart! Hey, punk, reading your little comic books again? Go away. Who is it this time, Bobby Bunny? No, it's not Bobby Bunny, it's Pooper Man. He's my hero. Pooper Man, that wimp? What are you reading that crud for? It's not crud. Pooper Man is cool. Cool my butt. He's a panty waist. Is not? He's got all kinds of amazing superpowers, and he beats up all the criminals in every comic. Big deal. Anyone can beat up criminals if they have superpowers. That's cheating. Hey! I hate you! So do something about it. Okay, I will. What are you gonna do now, tough guy? Hey, you guys, break it up. Rip! Apologize to the kid. I'm real sorry. Yeah, I'll bet. Ow! Don't make me come over there. Come on, fellas. Jimmy's coming to pick up the laundry, so get your dirty clothes ready, pronto. Little boy needs his big brother to stick up for him. Rip, what's wrong with you? I told you to get your laundry ready. What? Hey, I forgot to give him my shorts. Hey, Jimmy! Wait! Hey, Rip! Better get your panties clean! Why, you? I'll teach you who's got panties! Not knowing his own strength, Rip launches his shorts over Jimmy's head. The shorts rocket forward, then leave the Earth's atmosphere. As the shorts travel through space, they undergo a series of amazingly coincidental freak accidents. They pass through a cloud of hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas cloud is bombarded with the energy of cosmic rays. Rip's already highly volatile sweat molecules react with the radiation, and the atomic structure of the shorts begins to change. The irradiated shorts hit a passing satellite and plummet back into the Earth's atmosphere. While falling through the atmosphere, friction heats the shorts to an unfathomable temperature. The shorts fall into a long dead volcano and reactivate it, causing the volcano to spew up ancient rock and metal from the Earth's agitated core. The shorts then land in a primordial swamp, heating up long-preserved primitive slime creatures 
who, after eons of suspended animation, vigorously weave themselves through the charged fabric. The shorts, now pulsating, energized with life, begin to evolve a brain. An ugly, evil, hating brain. Hey, look at this! I'm alive, yeah! And I'm evil, too! Sure I am, yeah! And now, our story begins. Ah, look at that sweet, innocent youth. He's so good. Get a massage to a lowly creature of nature. Makes me sick. Now's my chance. I'll turn good into evil, yeah! Thanks for the rap, Bob! Now I'll take over his will. I'm doing it. Look at me go, yeah! Johnny, you have the dreamiest prickles. I'm gonna beat you hard! No! Hey, I screwed up. This guy's a boob. This I hear? The sounds of a poor, unfortunate human in trouble. I better use my binocular vision to get a closer look. Give it to him, Johnny! Good heavens! A poor, defenseless halfwit is being beaten by a horrible, hairy monster. This looks like a job for... Pooperman! Why, you hairy little bully, I'll teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. I'm innocent, man! Take that! Oh, still twitching, eh? <gasps> I'll use my patented nasal beam to finish him off. <sighs> Johnny, in your memory, I will never marry. No need for thanks, lad. Just doing my job. Wow, if I controlled Pooper Man, I'd be able to commit super crimes. Yeah, super crimes. Crimes at a super. Hey, I think I made it funny. <laughs> Here I go, I'm riding up Pooper Man. Yeah, he's gotta be good for something. Don't fight it, Pooper Man. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, got gotcha you good. Run away, little boy! With Pooperman as my slave, the world is mine! Yeah, I like it! Just a crazy goofball. Hey, come on, let's get our clean shorts on. Oh boy! Come to Papa. Mm -mm. Fresh and warm like mom's chicken breast. What a nutcase. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Pooper man has gone berserk. 
Witnesses claim that the formerly friendly vigilante is now using his superpowers to commit terrible crimes. Police are powerless to fight the disturbed superhero, and they are urging the citizens of Haplessville to barricade themselves indoors. So he's finally turned bum, eh? That's your big hero, ain't it, Chunk? Shut up! All right, men, knock it off. If Pooperman has gone bad, it's up to us to stop him. Now let's go to Haplessville and check it out. Hey, wait a second, where's my shorts? Come on, let's get a move on. I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? The future of the free world's at stake. But I can't go out without my shorts. Mom will whip me. Stop your belly aching. Come on. Oh, no. Not that. Ah, oh, come on. Take it like a man. Hey, I can't wear a diaper in public. Grow up. We have serious business to attend to. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Adult Swim's New Year's Eve Bash will be right back! According to the Wall Street Journal, indoor air pollution can be up to five times worse than the air outdoors. Clean air can be the difference between living comfortably or being miserable. Sharper Image introduces the ultimate clean air solution, the patented Ionic Breeze Quadra. Exclusive Xenion technology cleans and circulates air without a fan or filters and is totally silent. Here's how it works. First, the ionic breeze positively charges the incoming air. Then the air is pulled toward the negatively charged grid like a magnet. The positively charged contaminants attach to the collection grid, and then the cleaned air is accelerated into the room, creating a fresh, clean smell. Cleaning takes only minutes. Just pull out the collection grid, wipe it with a damp cloth or sponge, and slip it back in. It's that simple. Studies have proven the Ionic Breeze removes allergens such as pollen and animal dander. It even removes airborne bacteria and some harmful chemicals from carpeting, paint, and household cleaners. It powers through smoke and offensive odors and leaves your house smelling fresh and clean. Don't be misled by the prices of other filters. Over five years, hidden costs of filter replacements and electricity can add up to over $1,000. The Ionic Breeze Quadra requires no filters and uses almost no electricity. Try it in your home for two months. If you don't love it, send it back. Sharper Image will give you a full refund. Through this exclusive offer, Sharper Image will send you a free bathroom Ionic Breeze. This compact plug-in helps even dirty bathrooms smell fresh and clean 24 hours a day. The $69 Bathroom Ionic Breeze is yours free when you order today. And that's not all. Call now and be sure to ask about free shipping. Call 1-800-441-2400. Help eliminate chemicals, allergens, and odors with the Ionic Breeze Quadra. That's 1-800-441-2400. Right you! Pokemon, weeknights at 9 on Cartoon Network. Attention swimmers, we've got an Aqua Team premiere. I have some parents, Father? Hell no, you don't have parents. Oh. Oh. Premieres next Sunday at 11.15 on Adult Swim. Now back to Adult Swim's New Year's Eve pass. friends attack him pooper man go yeah get him yeah yes master wait till they taste my forearm hair spines <laughs> ripping friends disperse ah! i'll make you pay for that pooper pants i'll use my ultra stinging bathtub foam power on that mortal bum stinging bathtub foam yeah 
Bowser her fit! Ha! <laughs> huh, this is child's play. That's what it is, yeah. Don't do these things, Pooper Man. You're my hero. I know you're good. I've read all your comics. Fool, comic books are nothing but packs of lies. <laughs> Why, you dirty rotten! Come on! I dare you to fight me man to man with your bare hands and no cheating superpowers! Okay, come on! Drat! Rip's will's too much for Pooper Man! Sure it is! I knew it all the time! Hey, Pooper Man, you'll have to cheat! Use your superpowers! Do it! I'll use my atomic breath to subdue this ruffian. There, Pooper Man, we did it! You and me, we're tight! Tight, Pooper Man, tight! Okay, Pooper Man, let's scram! Farewell, ripping losers! You ain't seen nothing yet! I'll get you, you dirty... Tag. Pooperman stole my shorts! That rotten thief! Let me see that. Hmm. Robbing banks is one thing, but stealing underwear is a serious crime. There's no telling what he might do next. We gotta stop him! But how? Pooperman's got us licked! Hmm. Pooperman is clearly out of his mind. It shouldn't be too hard for us to outsmart him. Quick, men, to Ripcott! Whoa. Whoa. Ow. Ooh. I can't understand it. What is Pooper Man doing with my shorts? What are you looking at? Don't you want to help me get my shorts back? Rip, these aren't your shorts anymore. Uh, what kind of crazy talk is that? Yo, big lug, try to understand. Okay, then. Don't believe me. Believe science. There's some kind of primeval filth swimming through my tag. Crudely put, but correct. Yeah! Pooperman didn't take over your shorts, man. Your shorts took over Pooperman. It's my theory that the shorts have somehow transformed. They've become imbued with the stuff of life. They've become evil. They control whomever they ride up. And now these shorts, your shorts, control the most powerful superhero on the planet. Hold it, guys. My wrist alarm has an important message for us. Holy mackerel, Pooper Man has hurtled an asteroid straight to Earth. We've got to get those shorts off, Pooper Man, pronto! Let's go, men, to the patented pod plane! Asteroid in sight. Should we try that new landing maneuver, sir? Affirmative. Okay, fellas, one, two, three, scream! <laughs> Whatever happens, get those shorts! Hey, Pooper Man! Round two begins! The Ripping Friends, they haven't learned their lesson yet! I knew they wouldn't! I better teach them once and for all! Yeah! Attack, Pooper Man! Attack, attack! Attack the Ripping Friends! Do it! Ready, fellas? All together now! It's Ripping Time! What kind of fighting is this? You guys are weird! Yeah, yeah, ripping time. Big deal. Hey, they're on to me. Yeah, they are. Give it to him, Pooper Man.
I've had enough of your superpowers. You call yourself a hero? You make me sick. I'm gonna rip you good. Now's my turn. It's up to you, Rip. Try to talk to the shorts. The fate of the Earth rests on your glutes now. Only you can destroy your own shorts. Listen to me. Before you destroy the Earth, you owe me a little talk. No, I don't. If you don't, give yourself up now. Do you know how many people will perish? How many? Tell me, I want to know, yeah. Billions of innocent people. That's it? Billions? I want more. For Pete's sake, man, put an end to this carnage. No, you don't. Get away from me. I'm not going to hurt you. Give it up now. I can get you off with life. No, I'm not going to give up. Why should I? Do it for me. No one's closer to you than I've been. Did I iron out your wrinkle? Did I keep you warm when it was cold outside? Hey, I'm getting sad. What's happening? I don't like it. You're just a little mixed up right now. Mixed up, yeah. You're simply looking for attention in the only way you know how. By destroying the world. I'm looking for attention. If you succeed, then what? I don't know. Who will be left for you to ride up? Now you done it. You're making me cry. <laughs> <laughs> No matter what you've done, I love you, you silly little pants. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I'm free! You said you love me. Yeah, sure you did. He, I heard you. You said it. Of course I love you, but I love duty more! You did it, Rip! By destroying your shorts' elastic support, you stripped them of all their power. Look what you did to me! I'm all loose and floppy! Yeah, I'm no good! <laughs> I know how you feel, man. No, you don't! You've never felt any real pain! Not like this! Heavens, we have mere seconds before impact. New York City will be completely destroyed. If only we could stand on the other side of the asteroid, our collective weight might alter our course and save billions of innocent lives. The Ripping Brothers are coming to Yugoslavia? Ha! I will destroy them at last! Yes, some help you were. How many of the natives survived? None, I'm afraid. Then how did we survive? We survived thanks to a hearty diet of beef. I can't hold on. I can't do it. <laughs> My shorts will never ride again. It's ripping time! That's the spirit. Let's rip them apart.
Carl. I found your girlfriend in the crowd. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's hilarious. You're regular comedian. Oh, wait, I think that's your mother there. Is that your mother? What? Dancing around for those people. You don't talk about my mother! Words hurt, don't they? They sure do hurt. Attention, swimmers. We've got an all-new Riffing Friends Uncut. <laughs> Premieres next Sunday at 10.30 on Adult Swim. The Bradys, the Huxtables, the Bundys, the Simpsons, the Osbournes. These families have earned their place in TV history. This January, one real-life family will join them. My Life is a Sitcom. An all-new reality series on ABC Family Channel. The competition begins January 20th. Okay. Now after dinner, it's homework. I don't want you up late again. I already did it. Already did it? Yeah. All of it? Yeah. This moment brought to you by Sylvan Learning Center. Homework used to take me forever, and I got help from Sylvan. We call our approach the Sylvan Advantage. It's individual attention from highly trained and certified teachers, plus progress reports for you. If your child is struggling or not being challenged enough, call 1-800-EDUCATE. Sylvan. Learning feels good. Hooray, everybody! They got Raggy, Velma, Red, and Radney! That's right, the gang is missing, and it's up to you to help find them in the all-new Scooby-Doo video game. Scooby-Doo, Night of a Hundred Frights, available now on PlayStation 2 and GameCube. Rated everyone. TV Off-Road Fury 2. So realistic, it puts you right in the middle of it. Rated E for everyone. For anyone who thought they knew the story of the wooden puppet who wanted to be a real boy, get real. Pinocchio is coming to life. I love it! Like you've never seen him before. <laughs> He's cooler. You talking to me? Wilder. Boys. And funnier than ever. <laughs> Pinocchio, now playing only in theaters. Rated G. This holiday season, Knott's is making spirits bright. Catch its Christmas Snoopy, a new ice show spectacular. Bring any Coca-Cola product to Knott's and everyone saves $17 per ticket. This holiday season, you can take some time out. I definitely need to remember that one. And you can return to Hogwarts for the holidays. An excellent suggestion! Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, rated PG, now playing. This kitchen is open 24 hours a day. When my children's friends are hungry, they come and find me. And I always keep the pantry ready. Coming to Walmart Supercenter, you can get great prices. Their produce section is wonderful. It's fresh, it's crisp, it's colorful. You get great quality for less money. I can find any meat that I want. Hot roast, chuck roast, spiral ham is great. I always like to have something baked fresh for the band. I can get everything I need at my Supercenter. We all need to watch our pennies, and Walmart does that. This is where it all happens. Remember Schoolhouse Rock, the catchy animated tunes that made learning fun? Conjunction, junction. Well, Schoolhouse Rock is back in the best of Schoolhouse Rock video. And it's teaching a new generation of kids that knowledge is power. Bobby, 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 get your efforts here. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. These classic songs that rocked your Saturday morning are now available on the best of Schoolhouse Rock video. You get the top 25 animated songs, plus a brand new tune from the original creators. And as a special bonus, you'll also receive the official guidebook that includes all the unforgettable lyrics and memorable moments. The best of Schoolhouse Rock video and booklet is $14.95 plus $4.95 shipping and handling. And Schoolhouse Rock is also available on DVD. Call now to order the best of Schoolhouse Rock on video plus the official guidebook for $14.95 plus $4.95 shipping and handling. Or send check or money order to the address show. Also available on DVD. Must be 18 years old. Call. Every Saturday night. Showtime! Six 
Fox Cartoon. Excellent. Three hours. Let's go! Only for drone folks. Adult Swim. Saturday night 11 till 2. Keep those eyes open. Put the kids to bed and get ready to get down. Get down! Welcome back, everybody, to Adult Swim's New Year's Eve Bash. So, Carl, what do you think those other New Year's Eve shows are doing right now? Nothing as sweet as this, my friend. That I can assure you of. You know, they ain't doing it up like we are. I hear you, buddy. We're doing it up. Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Where the hell is Ron? We should have been inside half an hour ago. God, it is freezing out here. Yeah, I should be home working on my cartoons <laughs> instead of standing around here like a moron. I'm leaving. French, you lazy moron! Get back to work! Go, go, go! We can't get to work until you let us in, sir. No more excuses! Stop ruining my business! And smile, damn you! Did you see the new weekly freebie? God, the cartoons are even lamer than usual. <laughs> Lame is too kind. They're like watered-down Dilbert for born-again preschoolers. Um, sir, excuse me, I think I need some help. Nah, you're doing great. I can't believe those cretins are getting published while I'm working myself to death at this lousy job. Hey, you want to take off early? Bitchin'. Uh. <laughs> I must say, these are terrific. Thanks. I'm submitting those to Playboy, and these to Esquire, these to The New Yorker, and these to Cat Fancier. That's my backup. Andy, may I see your cartoons too? No. Kevin, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but... You have sense of humor cancer. That's not fair. I love humor. All kinds. Everything from Wizard of Id to BC. Oh, come on. Why can't he see your cartoons? <sighs> Fine. Gwen, watch this. <laughs> okay. Why is that funny? Uh, because she's touching the meat? No. It is a satire of people who say Kafkaesque when a situation is not Kafkaesque. Well, it would be funnier if the caption said, Please, no meat touching, ma'am. <laughs> hmm. 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 So you really think I'm talented, huh? My jaw hurts. Could I stop praising you for a little while? Jim, would you mind feeding Stogie? There's no more dog food. Then let's go buy some. I mean, he's eating the couch, for God's sake. Hey, I think I just found some in here. False alarm. It's getting late. Am I gonna crash here or what? Please, crash. Okay, but just so we're clear, you want your freedom to sleep around because you're not ready for something serious, right? Yes, exactly. Where are you going? Oh, I'm looking for something serious. Uh, hey, no fair! You tricked me! Finally. <laughs> Turn off the alarm and get to work! But we don't have the code! Because if you did, you'd rob me blind! Now, go, go, go! Work, work, work! <laughs> Why must I do everything myself? I need an assistant. Line up! Let's see. Woman, 
Freak, woman, vermin, woman. Where is Moran? Hey, what's going on? You! You are my new assistant! Ron, I don't have time to be your assistant. Besides, I hate your guts. Ha! You remind me of son I never had. Well, uh, I have a son, but I never see him. He's mental or something. Come! <coughs> <coughs> Women, vermin, and freak, get back to work! Huh? Moron, we go someplace quiet where we can talk. <coughs> Ron, I just don't see your store in my future. The second I start getting paid for my cartoons, I'm gone. And remember, I do hate your guts. Come on. I double your salary. Believe it or not, Ron, not everybody's life revolves around money. Some of us have dreams. Okay, not just money. Sex too. See, I buy you lap dance. This seal our deal. Yo! My name is Shelly. Oh. Uh, uh, look, Ron, I, um, I, I will not sell my soul for, uh, <laughs> that's very nice, a, a promotion or, or, or money or strippers or, well, okay, maybe strippers, but nothing else in your twisted, sleazy world, so, <laughs> that tickles, so you, you just forget it. My name is Shelly. Huh. You like, huh? Yes. Yes, I do, but the answer is still no. Thanks anyway, but I'm leaving. <clears throat> In a minute. Ah, nerds. Yo, Andy, que pasa? Es mucho suco, hombre. A bunch of magazines just rejected my cartoons. You're lucky. I just came from a gallery. Hey, they love my stuff. Great, but how does that make me lucky? Oh, um, I meant I'm lucky. Sorry. Andy, you got a package from the New Yorker. Congratulations! Hey. Oh, man. They've rejected all my cartoons, and they ruined them with their big red stamp. If it makes you feel better, I don't think the New Yorker publishes a lot of cartoons. <sighs> that was my best stuff, too. Stogie, no. Why can't you just eat your own puke like every other dog? on the phone. Huh? Hello, this is Andy French. Hi, Andy. This is Marie from Cat Fancier, and I just want to thank you for your cartoon submission. Oh, so you're going to buy it? Oh, well, no. But because you're a special cat lover, we're prepared to offer you a subscription at our low introductory rate of... <sighs> I can't take it anymore. <sighs> Thank God. I wasn't looking forward to explaining that to Mom. Look at those regular people with their regular jobs. They've given up on their dreams, and they seem happy. You can't give up, Andy. Your cartoons are great. You really think so? It's just your captions that need work. Maybe if you change that caption to read, please, no meat touching, man. <laughs> Okay, you win, Ron. I win! I win! I win! I win! What'd I win? The battle for my soul. I'm your new assistant. <sighs> I warn you, it's not an easy job. You must have training. You must have discipline. Okay, I'm ready to learn. Uh, that's enough for today. Let's party. Adult Swim's New Year's Eve bash will be back, my friend. Get your holiday spirit soaring on Accelerator. 0 to 80 in 2.3 seconds. 20 stories straight up and down. Bring any Coca-Cola product to Knott's and everyone saves $17 per ticket. We're going to Knott's. Tomorrow begins your greatest adventure. Journey to Middle Earth in a magical double feature. 
Rankin Bass's classic animation brings to life an enchanted world. First, join Bilbo Baggins in the tale that started it all, The Hobbit. Then, watch as Middle Earth explodes in a battle for the Ring of Power in The Return of the King. Watch both for only $4.99. It will be mine. Only on blockbuster pay-per-view movies. Simply enchanted. Right Aid. America Online is the best place to celebrate the holidays. Go to AOL keyword holidays for all your holiday needs. I do all my holiday shopping on AOL. It's great not to have to get in the car. On AOL, there's a gift for everybody on my list. I get all the holiday music I want. Recipes for pies and all kinds of stuff. I share holiday photos with my family. Well, with AOL, I can actually relax and enjoy the holidays. Happy holidays from America Online. Call 1-800-4-ONLINE or pick up a free AOL startup disc at these locations. Hurry over to KFC and get 45% more popcorn chicken free when you buy an individual size for only $1.99. Perfect for on the go. Or get a 10-piece bucket of original recipe or extra crispy chicken for an unbelievable $7.99. On the go or at home, KFC's got great holiday values for you. There's a place you can choose your crew. It's a real cool place to be. This holiday season, you can take some time out. I definitely need to remember that one. And you can return to Hogwarts for the holidays. An excellent suggestion. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, rated PG, now playing. Alien monsters are hiding on real products everywhere. You can only capture them with scanners. Scan 80 barcode to capture them. Battle on your own or head to head. Or you scan more monsters, more battles. Scanners, scan them, fight them, collect them. Cards and comic book included, batteries not included. More of the top 100 reasons to add Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius on video and DVD to your holiday wish list. Teach your dog new tricks. Teach your mom new tricks. It's the gift you can get. Rated G. It's the Venture Time! Ooh. Fly on a magic carpet, raise a snowman down a mountain, choose a greatest in a moon buggy! You run to see or in the jungle, big stop and dad or land, boy or man for video games! You better make it through the final castle! Ooh. Bring it everyone! Time to get a move on. Race on a wave bike or a hoverboard with Otto, Reggie, Twister, and Sam. New rocket power, Beach Bandit video game. Race everyone. Weekdays, 4 to 5, get caught up. That's right. 6 to 7, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z. Only to mommy. Attention swimmers. We've got an Aqua Teen premiere. Mail order bride from Chechnya? I don't worry. See, I got that one covered. Premieres next Sunday at 11.15 on Adult Swim. Now back to Adult Swim's New Year's Eve bash. First role of management. You must look like a manager. <laughs> Sexy, huh? You like, no? I think you just answered your own question. Hi, are you looking for Andy? I am Andy. Oh, I was wondering how I got the keys to the apartment. What is wrong with you? You don't know who I am, but you think I'm looking for me? I was trying to do Andy a favor and take a message. I'm sorry! <sighs> Holy Krypton! You're wearing a suit! Hey, cartoonists can't afford suits. What did you do? I took the assistant manager job. But I'm still me. Just me with a higher salary. You're not giving up cartooning, are you? No. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, come on! What you need is inspiration. Here, I'll do something funny and you draw a cartoon of it. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> I don't know about this promotion. What if I get used to this? The perks, the easy money. Then in 20 years, I'll just be some sleazy jerk who devoted his whole life to selling waterbeds. Ron bought you a suit and gave you a raise. He didn't buy your soul. Yeah. French management training. And don't forget your massage oil. Got it. <laughs> Thanks, Gwen. I feel so much better now. Oh, and don't forget to take out the trash. <laughs> oh, I'm 
Hey, Ron, what's this one do? Press it. Enjoy. Wow, you really know how to live. <laughs> ah, my new fiance is here, Shelly. <laughs> Ronnie, baby. <laughs> fiance? W when did that happen? Today? Isn't Ronnie a romantic? The way he keeps putting money in my buttocks? Finally, a woman I can bring home to meet my mother. Mother, get out! We're doing business here! But Ronnie, my medicine! You're ruining everything! Go away! Come on, everybody! Party! Enjoy! Hi. Ronnie says such wonderful things about you. What, that I'm like his mental son? No, silly. That you're just like him. Oh, God. Am I really? Well, I don't know. I just met him. Mm. Hey, w what about Ron? Your fiancé? Mm, I'm not in the mood for a threesome. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> you know, we shouldn't... Mmm. You're so tense. Relax. I'm worried about you, Andy. I'm worried about Andy. I found all of his cartoons in the garbage. Maybe he crumpled them up and threw them away by mistake. No, I never thought he'd just give up cartooning. It made him cool, which in turn made me feel cooler by association. It's like he crumpled up your coolness and tossed that in the garbage. Hey, man, watch it. Stogie, that's not food. Or is it? Mmm. Come and get it. Wait, wait. I can explain. She was, uh, having a medical emergency. So she took off her clothes. and I took off my clothes. Stop running away. Come get your breakfast. You want sliced grapefruit? Oh. So you're not mad that I made out with your fiancé? What? <laughs> I'm proud of you. I did the same thing to my father. His fourth wife was my second wife. <laughs> you are just like me. Hmm. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Mother, get away. We're having a business meeting. Sorry I'm late, guys. Finally. Yeah, this is just... Burning the old midnight oil last night? Or were you just rubbing it on each other? <laughs> Very funny. Let's go, people. Work, work, work. Go, go, go. Wow, congratulations. You've become everything you hate. Hey, you're the one who told me to be happy about my promotion. Well, I am happy. I'm finally going places. Andy, we're going to be late for my mud wrestling. See? Lock up when you're done. <laughs> Stick shift. Uh, Andy and that woman kept me up all night. Me too. Does sex always sound like that? No, they must be doing something wrong. She told me I'd never go anywhere with breasts this small. What do you think? <clears throat> uh oh, incoming. Can I help you, miss? Yeah. Where do you keep the cocaine in this joint? Andy! That woman has got to go! She's not good enough for you, Andy. So she'll get plastic surgery. Listen, man, she's sleazy, and not in the good John Waters way. So this is it? You're just going to spend the rest of your life as the debauched manager of a waterbed store? Pfft, why not? I make money, I have sex constantly, and no one sends me pissy letters about how much they hate my work. And you know why? Because I don't do any work. I'm on top of the world, baby. But what about your creative fulfillment? Hey, Ron thinks I'm pretty damn creative, and that is good enough for me. Andy, they're selling the club! What am 
I gonna do? Oh, I'll die if I have to get a white collar job. All that typing and, and all those complicated telephones and... Shh, baby. I'm being creative. So instead of spending all that money hanging out at the club, we just buy it. Then we can hang out there for free. Yes. Yes, yes, yes! I want! Great. I'll set up a meeting with the bank. America. What a wonderful place. Just three years ago, I leave my homeland with only a can of herring and a box of ammunition. <laughs> now look at me! Look at us, partner. <sighs> Come on, you guys. Aren't you going to help me celebrate? I'm sorry, Andy. I'm just not comfortable celebrating your sordid accomplishments. Yeah, I'd rather just eat in my room. <sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me, baby cakes. We'll be out of here soon enough, honey buns. This place is a dump and your roommates are all losers. Especially that guy with the glasses. That's him. Andy, may I speak to you, please, in private? Hey, what's all my stuff doing here? I rescued it from the garbage. Oh, great. You even saved my old rejection letters. Hey, I never submitted anything to Omni. What the? These are new! I know. While you've been pursuing your life of ill repute, I've taken the liberty of doing a little submitting on your behalf. What's wrong with you? I'm on the verge of finally accomplishing something, and you want to drag me back to the past? You gave up too easily. Your cartoons are great. Oh, really? Okay, why don't you look at this one and tell me how great it is? Uh, <laughs> terrific. I, I love it. You have no idea what that cartoon is about, do you? Well, no, not really. But <laughs> I know it's great because you're great, Andy. You're the most talented person I know. Listen to me, Kevin. I am not talented and my cartoons are not great. They suck. I 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 suck. You're just going through a rough period. Now put down the imaginary knife before you pretend to hurt yourself. I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. Hey, Mission Hill! Andy French sucks! No, you don't, Andy. Stop yelling at both of you! I know of at least one publication that doesn't think you suck. Really? Who? Dun 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 da The Weekly Freebie! Oh, they suck even more than I do. The editor says he loves your work and wants to see more. Forget it. I'm not a cartoonist anymore. I'm just dirty, old, raunchy McSmut bag. I run strip clubs and date sleazy women. Hey, how's that supposed to make me feel? Oh, not women. Woman. Just you. Oh, Andy, you say the sweetest things. The IRS thinks I'm dead, so you sign everything. You just smile real pretty, Ron, and let me handle it. Hmm? Okay, never mind. Just let me handle it. Tell me, do you have much experience in the erotic entertainment business? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> sign, sign, sign. Of course we do. My name is Shelley. <laughs> yeah, that <clears throat> that won't be necessary. <laughs> well, your collateral seems to be in order. Who's going to sign? He is. Sign, 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 sign. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Kafka-esque. <laughs> hey, Buzz, check out this cartoon. <laughs> what, what are they reading? <laughs> Kafka-esque. <laughs> hey, I, I I drew that. That's my cartoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. My wife and I were laughing about that one this morning. If people really understood Kafka's work, they wouldn't bandy his name about so carelessly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you're doing? Shut up! Stop laughing! Sign! Sign! Andy, hurry up! I want to go to Cancun! I hate it in here! Sign or I kill you. <clears throat> I can't. I can't do this. I don't want to devote my life to running a strip club. Because I am not Raunchy McSmutbag. I am Andy McFrench. I mean, Andy French. Semi-professional cartoonist. Well, 
No reason you can't sign. Uh, what is your name? I uh, left it in, in the car. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. All your annoying meddling really did me some good. And it made you 35 bucks. Well, you got more than money. You regained your self-respect. Which will last until tomorrow morning when I beg Ron for my job back. Jim, you're dripping food on the couch. <gasps> of course! That's why Stokey keeps eating it. Come on, that's crazy. <laughs> Bill Oakley, Josh Weinstein production. Well, Carl, we did it, buddy. Another year has passed, and now it's time to enter the new millennium. Yeah, I'm taking off. Coming Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights at 11 on Cartoon Network. The action cartoon sci-fi comedy drama that redefines action cartoon sci-fi comedy dramas. What the hell was that? Futurama, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights at 11. Starting next Sunday on Cartoon Network. TLC wants you to know the switch is on. With just $1,000, two teams with two rooms get two days to completely redo them. The results? Too good to miss. Trading spaces, Saturday nights at 8 and weekdays at 4 on TLC. Right now, it's incredibly easy to get a great lease or low financing on any new 2003 Toyota car, truck, or SUV. Just see your Toyota dealer today. Get the feeling. Toyota. Do you wonder where Britney Spears or NSYNC got their moves? Here's your chance to get the inside look at how it's done. With Darren's Dance Crews, the new video that breaks down the moves and shows you how to do them step by step. We step back on our right leg and then move forward. It is definitely the best choreographer of all time. His unique street style dance steps have been featured in music videos, award shows, and concerts seen around the world. Dancing's all about having fun. Now you can get down with my new video. Ain't no lie. Now these fresh moves are available for you to learn on Darren's Dance Cruise. Plus, Darren will show you his brand new pop and lock routine. I break it down so you can learn the dances at your own speed. When you're watching this choreography, you just want to get up and do it with them. Darren's Dance Cruise is not sold in any store. This is going to be the hottest video you've ever seen. To order, call the number on your screen or log on to musicspace.com. Must be 18 or older to call or log on. Hi, I'm George Foreman, and this is my lean, mean, fat-reducing grilling machine. It grills delicious food in a healthy way, fast. And now I've teamed up with the folks at Sears to make my grill better than ever. Together, we've added this unique, handy, warm and lid, so preparing tasty meals is even easier. The great features of my grill will make meal times faster and easier in your home. George Foreman's grill is a real time saver. Since it cooks from both sides at once, it cuts most cooking times in half. The large grilling surface lets me make enough for everyone. I use it all the time. The slanted grill channels fat and grease away from food while it cooks, right into handy trays. With the floating hinge, thick chops, chicken breast, even bacon all grill evenly. Seared on the outside, moist and flavorful inside. Meanwhile, the lid warms rolls, buns, biscuits, tortillas, even pita bread. Now we even have time for a hot breakfast. And the double-coated, non-stick surface makes cleanup a breeze. It even comes with a spatula that fits right into the grooves of the grill plate. I love it so much, I gave one to my mother and my brother, who was living on takeout until he discovered that even he could make a home-cooked meal. Be a champ in your kitchen. Now, with this handy warming lid, available only from Sears, I'm so proud of it, I put my name on it. And because it's from Sears, you know your satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. 
cook more in less time than George Foreman Grill. Call 1-800-548-3388 now to order your George Foreman Grill with warming lid. Have your Sears or other credit card ready. Call now, 1-800-548-3388. That's 1-800-548-3388. 1-800-548-3388. Call now. Coming up next.